I'm sorry. There we go. Now, if I recall correctly, we we're about to fucking die. No. What happened? Pardon? Last time. He wants to go over what happened last time. I... Fox said that he wanted to. I believe, if I remember correctly, we made it to Goodmead. Uh, we ran around. Oh, that's not good. Some of us were extremely productive and like found a whole bunch of tracks and shit like that. Some of us tried to scam people out of some money with drinking, both of which were very valuable. Um, I think then we found a trail. We followed the trail and we came to these, I think it was kind of like these weird ruins where it seems like all these tracks just like ended in this one middle spot, but there was like not much there. Then we looked around, found some stuff, found like some ancient items, like a scabbard and some other things that just seemed like we'd never really seen them before. Then I think I used like to detect portal and I like heard that there was like some, or I sensed like a portal like open and close really quickly in a direction. We started moving that direction. We heard a very happy noise that sounded like someone was going to give us a million gold. It was extremely happy. Um, and then I think there was like three spooky frost giants. Uh, I think that was where we ended. Who and they, and they looked like super spook. Like they looked weird. I'm probably missing some stuff, but I think that was the TLDR. Yeah, that's a gist. Um, so we started last time uh, fighting some big thing that you guys had once before seen in your nightmares at Carden Evil. Or at least you'd come to that conclusion. Um, and this isn't the first time that we fought something that uh, you guys have seen in your nightmare. Uh, this is like the second or third oh, that's time. True. I fight my demons every day. <laughs> um, and uh, to be uh, frank, these. Uh, these ice giants, you you also saw those in your nightmare as well. Um, so, uh, I think last time, um, before the beginning of last session, you guys, I think, were headed to a good need to this forest to investigate uh, this site where you heard that Shardolin was being collected from. And brought supposedly to um, Castle Sunblade. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I think you guys were going to head to Sunblade, but I'm not 100% sure. I think that was uh, like the direction we were headed, but then we figured because it was like on the way, we'd stop and investigate the Shardle and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing that um, I wanted to mention was that uh, Last time you guys came to Goodmead uh, and Dugan's Hole, you kind of just like blew through the town and uh, you didn't pay anyone that much mind or uh, offer to lend services or any, anything like that. And uh, well, a couple of you have found that the people in Goodmead aren't, um, aren't that kind. Yeah. They kind of uh yeah, they were being, being racist, weren't they? Was no, it, was, was dude. It, was it racist or no, was it, no, it, it was it racist? Weird. It's cause we came by and they were like, We have this issue and we basically said, Cool, we're gonna do our own thing and left. They just remembered that. Well they only remembered like Wait, what did they ask us to do? Well, because if it you notice the only he make like a bullet but no, no, the only people they gave an eye to were the original party. The only person who didn't get like a oh you was ooh because he wasn't there. I didn't get it. I didn't get a stink eye. It was literally it was just. I didn't you were in the eye. forest. No, I still stopped in there beforehand. Because uh, it wasn't Kieran. You, you yeah, because he gave it to Adol as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I didn't get a stink eye. Did they at, did they ask us to? I'm trying to remember if they'd asked they us to do something. They didn't ask us. See, these people are dickheads. They, 
They didn't because ask we us went to do through. anything. They were just like, oh, well, we uh, someone raided, killed our speaker, and stole our meat. It'd be great if someone did about it. And they didn't even so much as wink at us. They just brought it up. It's like, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was my problem. I mean, <laughs> no, yeah, but it's like if I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, like I wish I had a sandwich and like someone brought me a sandwich and then I look at you. Like I want you to bring me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a grown ass Wait, man that can get your own sandwich. Well, I'm saying they're pieces of shit, but that's what happened. <laughs> I'm saying that they, they didn't like wink or nod their head like, hey, someone should take care of this. Uh, 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 uh. They didn't even do that. No, they should have asked. Like, I'm, I'm with you. I'm just saying that's what happened. <laughs> I think if I remember correctly, we had like 17 things on our plate and we didn't want to take the 18th thing on our plate. Yeah, what do you mean, Amon? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have telepathic abilities. I didn't like that. I'm not psychic, okay? Like I wasn't supposed but to know. I I think that's like generally what it was. Like we we had like four or five different plot points. And oh, 100. Like, percent We were point. like, we have a thing. We like we have to do what we're doing, or we're not going to do it. Yeah. So we left. It was 100% like everyone was in agreement. Well, like, just may, fuck these guys in general. It, it They're assholes. Even, it may be even more ironic because he was like, someone, uh, you know, broke in, stole a bunch of our meat. Our speaker tried to defend it. He died. We're running low on meat. And then we're like, yeah, we'll just have like, like a keg's worth. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. We'll just drink the rest of what you I have. Yeah, fucking... Cray came in here and bought a shit ton of mead and gave them, like, money. I mean, these guys are assholes. It's fun. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry. So I guess... <laughs> Continue. Oh, you're fine. Um, we rejoin our, our heroes in the forests um, northwest of Good Mead. Um... And they're amongst, uh, I count it, three very large giants. And right now we're going to be in a little bit of a bullet time. Um, what are you guys feeling? I wanted to gauge how you guys felt. I'm feeling a little hungry, if I'm being honest, actually. <laughs> I just ate yeah. some fun. Oh, you meant in game? Okay. <laughs> You some more Coca Cola. Um, how close? How close to the giants and did they see us? Uh, they don't seem to have noticed you. Quick, I know, in the middle of this clearing with no trees, stealth. And well, no, I know. If, I knew if a few of us were like nonchalantly going along, and I know as soon as we heard the roar, I think myself. I know myself and Ophelia like used our cloaks uh, to hide. Sorry. I'm not sure if somebody else did. I just assumed everyone was hiding. I know I'm stealthing or tried to. Okay. I would like to as well. Behind whatever near debris, fell trees, whatever there is. I don't know what my role is, but remember, uh, I have advantage. Thank you. <laughs> I guess this might be a better question. Is anyone not stealthing? Okay. Um, yeah, who's not here? Adol's not stealthing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you mean, man? He's he's the T-T pose. That's the ultimate stealth. Hey, fuck my uh, life. You guys take... 9,000, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> they do just line the dice up um, and it's like, that in total is a number. And then the first one's a 9, that's a 0, that's a 0, that's a 0. That's a zero. Rolls 10? Yeah, oh, so it was all uh, not 20s, you all die. Alright, see. So Leads the call. D20 okay. times the D20. <laughs> Are you guys trying to get the fuck out of here? I guess I'll present you with this. What the fuck I like was this. that noise? I like, <laughs> I like this man. Uh, 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 sorry, I burped a little bit. <laughs> yeah, um... It, it sounded like you made a really loud noise that your mic tried to, like, cancel out. So it was like... Oh, that's 100% what it was. It was like a loud, uh, quiet noise. That just sounded very strange. I do have a question, though. Um, if my shield guardian regains 10 hit points at the beginning of every turn, and a turn is technically 6 seconds, then out of combat, does that mean every 6 seconds he, get, he regains 10 health points back? Yep. So he would be topped would, off. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All 
already. Yeah, the shield well, guard just grabs some branches and hold it in front of its face. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have a move back here. We're gonna do. Here. I'm gonna do a group stealth roll for you guys and a, a group perception for them. Cool. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Kieran Pyron, he just texted me and he said he's doing Pass Without a Trace. Yeah, it was really weird. Okay. Yeah, he I'm does Pass Without a Trace. If you guys have ever watched Critical Role, there was one time here. where Laura Bailey yeah. couldn't make it, so she was watching them do it live, and her and her husband, Travis, was playing her, and like he fucked up and was doing shit that he shouldn't have been, so she literally called him live on TV and started yelling at him about, don't do that <laughs> shit, do this! You're doing this, you're not doing that! <laughs> uh, hey, no, back, no backseat playing, okay? <laughs> Downstairs, I'm sorry, I'm back. These giants so far don't seem to have uh, spotted you. Um, but they do seem to be looking around and grunting. Is this... Are they Nibbles, you can just... I, I was like, understand them. Nibbles, you can just fly them. really Giant. high and you're fine. What are they gonna do? They fucking uh, like Superman jump like 30, 40 feet. Bro uh, stuff? Well, like, how high can you fly? You oh, hear one fly. of them murmur. The Shortland should be around here somewhere. The, the other two grunt. Um, does it seem to be the relative location of where I sense that portal stents, or was it like farther past them? Uh, it's it's around this location. Um, <laughs> do I notice anything that seems evident enough that there would be like, oh, it looks like, like it, the, the snow looked a bit disturbed in a specific location. Uh, that looks like there may yeah. have been some sort of weird portally shit going on there. Also, Brock, it's yep. there's some weird ambience coming from your mic. Oh, yeah. Shh. Are you saying since? Yeah, you would definitely notice some disturbance in the snow where the portal had opened. Was it closer to us or closer to them? I understand. Uh, closer to them. <laughs> uh, it's tiring. It's tiring trying to fart to him. It's like, oh, I'm exhausted. I was trying to hide a fart the whole time. <laughs> okay, and there's nothing. There's nothing like different on the ground. There's nothing that looks out of place. It almost just seems like something like kind of just flashed there, and that was it. Yeah. Uh, so there is definitely like a disturbance in the snow, um, and you see footprints coming. There's kind of like um, a circular pattern. I mean, you have to tech portal, so you probably know what a portal looks like, um, and I'm sure you've seen portals. I uh, like the video game, but uh, <laughs> I knew you were fucking say that. <laughs> it's definitely yeah, like but... a disturbance in the snow where a portal once was, and it seems to be a bit more on them. Like they've taken a few steps out of it at this point in time. Wait, so it, it looks like they stepped out of it, or something else stepped out of it? It looks like footsteps are leading from the portal to their current spots. To the or from what was perhaps the portal. Are they frost giant sized footprints or are they more humanoid sized footprints? They're frost giant sized. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bonk. So what are you guys gonna do? I'm hiding. <laughs> Hiding, man. Wow. <laughs> okay, but besides that, I I want to just wait and see if they move on from here. I think alternatively, we should do the. Ancient, I will. Move uh, Make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, exactly. One of the frost giants walks over to these two trees and spreads them apart. Oh, oh like, let's, go, let's, go, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Wait, I think I just deleted my character. <laughs> Let's go. Well, um, uh, don't worry. They have, <laughs> they'll delete you later. 
<laughs> it's the gif of the dude doing the peace sign and phasing out of existence. It's just a feeling. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, I should use the ancient. I actually did just delete my token though. I'm sorry. The ancient Joestar art and hightail it out of here. Oh yeah. I will yeah. put my uh, reach <laughs> under my coat. You thought you got smart. Whatever me, the fuck it is. You outsmarted me. <laughs> and get my sword ready, but I'm not gonna pull it out. Uh, all right. I have an idea. Bye. Oh, I can't go that far. I'm already at the edge. Shit. <laughs> okay, right, we should so go. You guys sneakily move off. I'm going yeah. to make one more check. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Yeah, especially with Kieran's pass without a trace, you guys are uh, hard to beat a plus ten. Yeah, I I love the shield guardian. I can see just like a smidgen. <laughs> 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 The shield guardians pretend to be a tree. Yeah, I'm completely <laughs> under it. <laughs> Don't die violently, nipples. You're gonna be like, yeah, I'll chase one and you fuck up a roll, grabs your tails and absolutely just crushes you. All right, nipples is dead. Now just, what? Just, nah, just, you just look out over the top of the trees <laughs> above the canopy and it's the frost dry and just swing and nibbles by the tail like a lasso. Just, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> just whips them off of the distance. It's like Team Rocket blasting off again. <laughs> you guys make a very narrow escape as the frost giants begin scouring the uh, the woods. You're good. Meat. So wait, we were right here, pretty much around around that part ish. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. you guys were a good couple miles in. Um, but you had followed a path and you weren't quite walking in snow. So what took hey. you, um, I think I normally say it takes you like an hour to trudge through uh, half a mile, American un freedom units. Uh, it probably took you like a hour um, to do one mile. So by the time you make it out of the wood, unless you guys wanted to investigate anything else further, uh, it's probably sundown and evening time. So, probably like 6 p.m. What would you guys like to do? Well, at this point... Uh, I never want to see another uh, frost giant. Uh, um, well, I think we do you think we can... Enough. Yeah, well, at least we know that it's there. Do you think... I mean, we could probably circle around and still make our way to Sunblight. Gale, do you know how those frost giants came there without us hearing them before? Well, judging by the random appearance of the footprints out of thin air and the fact that the snow was a bit disturbed, kind of like in between the middle of all of them, somehow they managed to step out of a fucking portal. I don't yeah. not know frost giants to use portals. Um, Stence, one of those one of those tokens looks a little different from the others. Was there anything weird about one of them? Like, did one of them look uh, uh, out of place? I should say. So, how about this? Roll me a history, because we're kind of uh, past the point in time where you guys are trying to recall some features about it. Oh boy. History, my amazing. Don't worry, here's gonna be a natural twenty, so it doesn't matter. Boom, natural twenty. See? Natural eight, pog. If you turn it sideways, it's an infinity. <laughs> you remember everything from any time. Roll me a survival. Don't worry, I'm not sure that now I have a plus nine or something. I'm gonna roll a one. Never mind, I rolled a twenty-eight. Oh, you missed the check of a twenty-nine, unfortunately. Fuck. <laughs> Um, 18 plus 9 is 18. Yeah, so this frost giant, you recall, definitely had multiple heads. Hmm. Can't recall if it was two or three heads, but this frost giant definitely had multiple heads. How far? You said we're, we're a few miles out of town, right? So like, we can't see town. Uh, you're probably at the edge of Goodmead. Oh, okay. 
We should probably... <laughs> uh, do we want to double back and maybe just warn them to stay away from this area? Or do you think we should just keep going? <sighs> we could go back and tell them and be like, Hey, look, there's yet another problem that we are not going to take care of. Um... <laughs> 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 Are you guys bad guys? Hey, the people in good need? No. Did something happen? Huh? Do you like them? Well, that seemed like you had a little resentment there, uh, for <laughs> no. Something happened? No, not that I recall. Okay. I've only been here the one other time since we got back up in the woods. I feel like the right thing would be to tell them. Yeah, if it's not too far back, since I'd say we should probably go, we'll probably go and warn them. Unless you guys want to just carry on. As I, I'm not. I'm a little unsure how. Carry on. If those frost giants are beyond us or not, but I remember we've encountered we've encountered one before, and that I didn't one of them like fuck us up. We've encountered multiple. Well, encountered, yeah, but like, how many have we actually fought? I believe we've only encountered one, right? No, one at Yarl's moot, two while we're uh, going down to get your robot. You're right. Wasn't that the one that like fucked up Kronos? Yes. I am like, right in, like, because I have turn. keen mind. Oh, now, now you use it. <laughs> okay. Wow, that would have been really useful in recalling information about the with one we were just talking about, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Like I push back my glasses and uh, look real smart. <laughs> Except there's no, yeah, there's so no you guys aren't that far because the sun's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't have glasses. So you wanted to warn the people of good need about the frost giants? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little, a little issue of. Uh... I think there's a problem if there's no one in charge right now. There might be someone in charge. Who do you, who do you want to warn? Well, well I was what about the people at the shrine of the flaming sword? Those of those of you who are like asking around town, um, do you think you could go convey? Because I was on the outskirts of town. I, I didn't go into town. Um, if you saw anyone who looked like they had any, any form of authority, could you warn them to just stay clear of that area? and maybe just be on the lookout and be careful for some frost giants wandering the area. I think, I don't know who, if it, was that like, was that like Oog? Was, who else was it that went in the town? You don't know, Kieran. That's who weren't here. <laughs> I'll go with them this time. If you guys want to just go warn, like whoever whoever you were talking to, or if you ever saw anyone who had any sort of authority or something like that, it doesn't have to be, this isn't like a big, run through the streets, just tell someone so we at least get that off our conscience. Paul Revere. The giants are coming. The giants are coming. Yeah, right. Island. I say uh, to Don't, yeah, right. It, That's American lore, okay? Stay it old Tyrion and Oog, and <laughs> Oog's the only one not T-posing right now. Yeah. Yeah. The man with broken I'm English. I'm Y posing. Y posing? I'd like to imagine Oog's just gonna like he's like Solaire. Pick Great pick son. up the like T posing cardboard Adol and Kieran, and he's gonna be like, <laughs> okay, just one under each arm. One in each arm, freaking one over my shoulder. Adol and Kieran simultaneously say, "Yeah, man, uh, we'll let him know." <laughs> <laughs> They're still T posing. Their mouth didn't move. The sound just emanated from their general direction. Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? <laughs> All the voice on the wind. <laughs> All right, so uh, if those guys are, are guys okay, we're also gonna say if those guys are okay, just just to go. I don't know. Tell the barkeep or tell someone, as they were here before. Okay. Um, do you want to do that? Uh, Adol, I could make Adol and Kieran go and do that. <laughs> I think that would be funny, but I'll go do it. 
because I, I mean, uh, yeah, Adol and uh, Kieran just head off for a few minutes. Then a few minutes later, they come back and say, yep, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you want to do it, uh, you could also either go with them or go instead of them. Or if you don't want to do it, that's also fine. I'm not following those two because I'm disassociated first. You know, based on what my bartender buddy has uh, shown me. What? <laughs> I don't want to be seen with those two, you know? Already. Wait, are they not racist towards you? Nope. So would you uh, would you rather them stay behind then? No, they, if they're gonna if they're gonna go, then I'll stay behind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they'll go. Uh, they leave for. Well, let's do it this way. They leave and come back about 15 minutes later. And uh, they both kind of have like sunken looks on their faces, but they're like, yeah, we told them. Well, if they've been warned, it's no longer on our conscience. It is. <laughs> this is it's sometimes it's fantastic that uh i'm playing behind a monitor and not <laughs> not at a table surrounded by you guys because some things that i smile at you guys would be like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> god damn these guys are fucking idiots <laughs> uh what do you guys want to do now it's about 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 6, 6, 7, 6, 30, let's say. You sure? Final yeah. answer. 6, 30, final double, answer. Double deputy. Um, I don't know about you guys. I feel like if we're going to trek out, we might as well wait till there's a light. I guess the night would possibly conceal us better, though. I mean, it's going to be night. No right. matter what. There he is. We're way we check past my the point spell zone, slots. So it's like a few hours a day where there's like decent light. I mean, we long rested before we came we here. We can right? we can rest in the we can rest in the thing while we get to make our way there, as a certain someone only needs a few hours of sleep. Oh uh, yeah, me. The robot is pretty cool. Wow. Well, yeah, I mean, we could. <clears throat> Who was that? Stan, stop that. Uh, For some so reason, I feel percent. like we should say. Uh, Part, for instance. Anyone uh, want to roll perception? Ooh, I'll make a perception sure. checky. I have a Ooh, shitty uh, perception, so I'll do it because it'll be an out one here. Oh, uh, I roll. Uh, yeah, that one. I'm getting a phone call. One second. Sure. Um, all of you. Okay. Yeah, Nibbles. All of you, aside from Nibbles, <laughs> uh, can see um, a man clad in, in armor and like a, a uh, armor helmet where, holding a torch. Okay. And uh, he marches into the woods. Oh, let's ignore him. No. Uh... I am going to stealth and follow. Talk consulting the party. All right. Do I see him stealth and following him? I feel stealthy as fuck. Fuck yeah, just remember I got advantage. Uh, Alright, go ahead. Yeah, you know what? You would see him stealthy because... Uh, sorry, that was your advantage. Uh, because um, your passive is very above average. Um, I'm always looking around. You just, you have a good sense of, um, I guess, common disturbances in nature. All right. Um, so, yeah, you so do I just see, see him kind of, walking away. Yeah, you see him sneak off after this guy. Okay. Uh, Kronos, you follow this guy and he. Walks about a mile into the woods. Um, 
That's far. You, you've seen. Uh, you've seen armor similar to what this guy's wearing before. Um, he seems to be part of maybe like the town militia. And of good mean? He's. Um, Where else yes. would you think? Okay. He kind of has like. Oh, the of another town, numb nuts. He has the good so emblem on his like shoulder pads, which is. Uh, it kind of looks like a stein, but it's got... You know what, I'll just share it with you guys. Um. Doo -doo -doo. I know I could just share these as handouts, but I like to put them <laughs> in Discord because you can reference back. got this symbol on his shoulder pads uh, and he swings his torch around and at one point you step on like a twig in the woods and oh, good roll. He, he spins around and he says who's there must have been the wind oh. and then he continues <laughs> searching he seems to be searching for something <laughs> who goes I'm there? going to keep following him must have been the wind Already. That episode of Pamia. Yeah. Uh, what's <laughs> everyone else doing? Uh, Rana seems to have been gone for quite a bit now. No one but Ophelia noticed. That's exactly how much presence this man has. Lamel. <laughs> um, what time is it? At this point, it's probably 7 p.m. Definitely 7 p.m. Gotta stop being wishy-washy on times. Hmm. Oh, we can get a move on. Get a move on. Well, weren't we going somewhere, or are we staying here? Well, I'm out of character saying get a move on, like. Didn't you just see Cronus just walk off in the woods? And you're like, yeah, let's go ahead and just keep going. It's like leaving him at the gas station. Pretty sure that's what he was implying. Oh! Wow, what a dickhead. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know me. Uh, so I guess you guys have banter. Is there anything you guys physically want to do? Um, is there any like? Well, it's probably still got a little bit of time before uh, we move out. Anyway, because we want to get some rest. I'm assuming. Um. Mm -hmm. Where's the um, the store here? The store or the inn? The store. Is there a general mm -hmm. store in this town? Yeah. Um, so you spend a few minutes searching and you find a sign that points you to a general store. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so you can, are you going to go to the general store then? Yeah. I'm just going to tell everybody else. I'm going to go do some shopping before we turn in. And I'm ahead to the general store. Uh, so you approach the general store, and it's got like one of those signs hanging from above the door on a couple of chains, and it creaks in the wind. And then uh, all of a sudden, as you like walk closer, the one of the sides of the sign crashes down and hits the side of the building. Um. And you can see that this general store doesn't seem to be in the greatest of repair. <laughs> uh, yet another premium establishment in Ice Window. Um, Is anyone joining Vorn to the general store out of curiosity? What? Is anyone else joining Vorn to the general store? I'm hanging at the cart already. 
Uh, so, Vorn, do you step inside? Yeah. All right, Lisa. Inside, uh, you find a uh, an older gentleman, and uh, he seems kind of frail. And he says, uh, oh, "Welcome to Old Henry's establishment. What can I do for you?" I take it you're old, Henry. Oh, very old, Henry. Yeah, very old is an understatement. Um, <laughs> he takes out a handkerchief from his pocket and blows his nose into it and then wipes down his counter. Oh, He's my just, God. Uh, I would like to <laughs> put my hands in my pockets and stand about five feet away from the counter and talk to him. <laughs> Watch out, the racist. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Six feet away from the counter. <laughs> Uh, this is going to seem like a weird question given the current state of things but do you happen to sell fishing rods? Fishing rods! Fishing rods! And he, he uh, he's got a long beard and he rubs his beard and he's got very tiny spectacles and he says oh, I love this yeah, thing. I got a fishing rod and uh, he reaches under his counter Pulls out some fishing gear. Can I inspect? Hey, I can inspect this. Yeah, sure. This is the state of the fishing gear. Roll investigation. You begin looking over this set of fishing gear, uh, and the box appears to be very worn. And um, you pop it open, and inside there's a collapsible fishing rod that looks like an antique. Um, and in certain places, it's been like mended together clearly. Um, and it looks like it's it's been through a lot of use. And uh, as you're examining the uh, fishing gear, um, Henry says, "Say, uh, what did you say your name was again?" Oh, my name's Vorn. Vorn! And, uh, he rubs his beard again. He says, that name sounds familiar. Really? Vorn. And, uh... Where have you heard it before? Apart from just now, when I told you. Then... <laughs> uh, he gets, like, a glum look. He says, there have been rumors of a traveling adventure bunch that has been traveling through the ten towns. And Vorn uh, was someone who was said to be traveling in this group. Don't suppose you'd be the same Vorn? Can I ask what the rumors are. <laughs> there you have... the fish. <laughs> There's a place I'd like to go. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, this band of adventurers has been helping various ten towns in their most dire time of need. However, locals have said that these same adventurers pass through our town without even batting an eye. <laughs> I'm not laughing in character, okay? <laughs> I'm waiting for this guy to be like, Ford, call an ambulance, call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> and then he pulls, he pulls out, out the flaming sword. He pulls out the flaming sword <laughs> from the shrine. Should have should have helped us, bitch. <laughs> Uh, there's a it's it's a pretty common name amongst uh, people of my kind I don't think that's me I think now I wish I went <laughs> he unsheaths a sword from his belt and whoa old timer what are you doing <laughs> 
dripping with poison and raging. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he he strokes his beard again. So, if you want this fishing gear, it'll it'll cost you five gold pieces. <clears throat> five gold pieces. Well, this does look like a. It's reliable. Obviously, someone took. It was an heirloom of mine. Took great care to mend it. I don't know about five gold, man. Excuse me. How about uh? Mm. How about to give you a two gold and five silver for it? Roll um persuasion. With that charisma <laughs> you're on the natural one <laughs> shit <laughs> he takes a frail frail hand and slowly closes the fishing tackle box oh, oh I, i'm sorry i can't part with this for any less <laughs> are you gay and he <laughs> he coughs into his handkerchief again did he cough it's onto like, yeah. the fishing gear? No. It, okay, none of it ended up on the fishing gear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just let him make okay. sure. You know, he turns into the old man from Dr. Stone. Oh, no. <laughs> Muscles and all. <laughs> New technology. <laughs> Five gold. At this point, you would notice that this... This uh, building is actually very cold and drafty. So when the breeze blows, um, very chilling, even indoors. I guess that would explain the fucking sniffles. Uh, <laughs> not sniffles. Like, all right. Well, if you're gonna keep coughing like that, I'm not gonna buy anything from here. <laughs> so I'm just very well. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? Y you know what? The pity's working on me here. I'll just give you the five <coughs> set. That's very, it's just very gold. Hey, thank you. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll also throw in some bait. And he gives you a uh, a can of whoop ass worms. <laughs> can, can of whoop ass. <laughs> <laughs> He says, I got worms! It's <laughs> TMI. TMI. <laughs> Are the worms alive? You uh, pop the lid and yeah, there's like... You see like a pile of worms um, and you see... Yeah, you see a few of them are squirming around but amongst them there's definitely dead ones. You know what? They raise on a side that says kill me. <laughs> you can you can keep your worms. Don't worry oh, about that. Okay. I, I have I have bait already. Excellent. Um I'm gonna like stick my hands in my coat pocket, right? And then I'm gonna use uh -huh. my coat to grab the, the, the box with the fishing gear in it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take it. Okay. <laughs> You also notice, you know what, roll <coughs> perception. Roll perception? Yeah. You notice that the uh, the worm, the can of worms is kind of greasy on the outside. Yeah. <coughs> I'm not regretting that. You can you can keep that. Who pleasure doing business with you? Alright. Yeah. Ple pleasure was mine. <laughs> uh, old Henry or whatever the fuck your name was. <laughs> Pick it out of the general store. <laughs> And as you're leaving, you hear, "What was that?" Uh, don't worry, don't worry <laughs> and, about it. Thanks for your business. <laughs> and uh, we switch back over to uh, to Cronus. And Cronus, I zip uh, my pants. What? <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later, um, you see this soldier waving his torch around the same ruins that you were at earlier today, and. He picks up an artifact from the ground, a broken piece of artifact, and he's looking it over, holding the torch over it in the dark light. And he says, By gods! And then he 
he holds really? the torch further over, and you can see that in the torchlight, um, trampled around this uh, this clearing, uh, are large ice giant sized footprints. Uh, what's doesn't... the uh, okay, sorry, that just gets in this combat encounter with the other. Bless you. Thank you. What did the artifact look like in his hands? Uh, it looked looked like a broken shard, but um, you're looking back at him, and it doesn't seem like he noticed the footprints. Um, he he saw something else of interest, and this one it looks very strangely <coughs> uh, like a present day uh, circuit board. Oh. And he walks over and picks it up and examines it. Um, but he continues looking at various bits of broken things on the ground, seemingly very amused by everything here. What do you do? I'm going to wait, uh, and I'm just going to watch him. I'm going to see if he... I mean, this is already suspicious, but it could just be he likes grabbing trinkets. But I'm going to see if he finds anything that he's, like, especially happy when he grabs or finds, if he finds anything. He does this for about another 20 minutes. Um, and he indeed finds something that he is uh, happy with. What does it look like? Roll perception. Fuck. Okay. Not bad, not bad. It looks like he's found a glove of sorts. Ah, he man. Turns it over in his hand and, uh, nods in approval and begins like trying it on carefully while like rotating the torch in his hands and at one point he's like biting down on uh on the cuff of the glove to get it fully over his hand hmm. does it look like he picked up anything that could resemble a shotterlin people just put their spit on <laughs> um no I'm gonna keep watching I'll leave him be he like looks around once more isekai by a giant fist out of the torch lamp so go ahead <laughs> he looks around once more and uh then says Whoa. well I don't see any sign of giants here and then begins heading back to the direction of good meat I'm gonna follow him. Alrighty. Uh, does anyone want to do anything else? I was not here when everyone set off, so I'm a bit unsure what's happening. Same. Um, um, Amon was, uh, or Cronus was tracking this guard, and then I just went to the general store. That's really the only thing that's about to happen. Oh, and uh, Cronus stealthed away. Oh, you guys like went off on your own, and the rest of us are still in a group. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Is there anything oh, you guys want to do since you guys weren't here? Uh, you're welcome to do it. We're in a town, right? Yeah, good you're kind of at the edge of uh, of good mead. Oh, uh, can't think of anything I want to do. I'll just stick with the group for now. Alrighty. How about you, Gail, or anyone else? If I was here, I probably would have gone with Cronus, uh, but as I was not. Okay. Uh, I think Ophelia was the only one who noticed him wander off, and I don't think she divulged <coughs> that information. Okay. Ooh. Oh wait, was it like like, like was it like a passive perception thingy? Yeah. I think, I think like mine is only one lower than Ophelia's. Okay. Uh, so I'm not sure if it was like a meets beats type thing, but like I don't know. If yeah, that he's. He did a, uh, a stealth and I compared it. So, oh, gotcha. Um, 
but yeah. Uh, in that case, um, after about another hour, Cronus returns, Vorn returns, you guys are all back together. That's probably at this point, definitely at this point, beat you. Did you wander off to Kronos? <clears throat> I saw a random guard I walk into the forest and I thought it was a little suspicious. Just turns out he's a loser. So it's fine. Seems legit. Yeah, he was just interested in uh, giants. Ice giants specifically. <clears throat> yeah, imagine be interested in giants. <clears throat> Losers. Wait, 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 were there like footprints? Were there like, not footprints, but were there, were there like nearby or something? Are they coming as close to town? Well, I didn't see any. I definitely saw footprints. Ice giant footprints. I don't think he noticed them. It's possible that they left the same way they came. Did he say anything? Uh, why was that? Maybe... I'm getting this feeling that maybe we should try and figure out a way to deal with that, because I think if they attack the town, that's not going to end well. Well, apparently there's rumors about us, according to the uh, the storekeep. Old Henry. Oh, Warren, boy, what name. type? <clears throat> kind of rumors. Well, he asked me my name, and I was like, uh, you know, my name's Vorn and everything. He was like, oh, Vorn. It's, uh, I think I've heard that before, and I asked him, what did he hear before? And he was like, well, there's rumors that there's a, a band of adventurers going around Icewind Dale, and that uh, one of them's name was Vorn. And he was like, and people have been telling stories about how they go town to town and help out and everything. And he was like, it's the damnedest thing. Like, whenever they came through our town, they just flew right through, didn't bother to ask help for nothing. Oh, man. And I was like, no, nah, I don't think have that's them your us, real name. But, uh, yeah, no. If they ask me for my name, I'm going to tell them I'm Slim Shady. Well, the dude's old and decrepit as fuck. I really didn't think anything would be amiss if I, I told him my name. But, uh,. I don't think we're liked in this town. Or I don't know. He was old. Maybe he's solution. Well, maybe we should help them. Help them find their way into heaven? Hell yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, what do you guys want to do? Well, I want to kill all the villagers. Uh, there we go. <laughs> do you guys think we should... <laughs> see if we can deal with those frost giants maybe <clears throat> find a way to get the what do you them. think we can do well i think if we can maybe catch one or two of them out on their own we might be able to that one well, in the, the one in the middle with the, with the two or three heads is giving me some that's advice. what i was saying i was thinking or not even thinking if it was the regular two honestly as much as it sucks i think we could uh i'm having second guesses with that third one i just i don't have any clue like what the fuck is wrong with him i think maybe if we can't even sneak up on him bro if we employed some some strategies we might be able to if nick what nibble said i did not see what nibble said i was poison a barrel of meat and leave it out in the opening <laughs> dude that's like <laughs> some 1980s disney shit <laughs> fairy tale crap I was gonna say if we managed to get the drop on like on, the, on one of them, if we were to just maybe focus <laughs> all of our attention on one of them at a time, we might be able to reduce their numbers very quickly, as opposed to spreading it out. Because I think as soon as we've taken down one or two of them, it might increase our chances astronomically. Possibly. Well, there's also you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say this out of character first, I think. I think it was sus as fuck that that guard was like, oh, no ice giants or whatever, like, key not. So, like, apparently the town knows that there are giants in the vicinity. <laughs> oh, guy, well, what could possibly that be that this isn't the first time that, you know, they teleported in to get Shardolin <clears throat> since we heard it from the dwarves? So, it could possibly this man, like, he explored and saw footprints and just assume there's ice giants about and he wanted to see them because no, i couldn't imagine guarding good meat is like interesting and he's probably <laughs> bored as fuck excuse me bored as fuck can we tell them that being, you're... that being the case too is that there's also a militia here like could we not like 
form a giant extermination party, maybe. You can try. Get a couple of extra hands on our sides, probably make it a little bit easier. In your experience, Adol, have you ever encountered frost giants with multiple heads? No, not that I can remember. Oh, my Try to remember a time before oh, no, you were like, blue. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> is that like, have you ever can I roll a hit? Can I... Multi headed? Yeah. It all, uh, if you want to roll a uh, history or something? History. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Oh, I have the history. Bog bum bum bum. Um. You know what? I'll give you advantage <clears throat> because of your giant uh, obsession. Yeah. You have obsession, right? Yeah, yeah that's sort of thing. That's the... mm. It's not giants, it's just really tall women, dude. <laughs> 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 that's his life goal. Search for an Amazonian tribe. There we go. Hog? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hog, bro. You rolled a dude, one and a three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. So, uh, yeah, I'm a fucking moron. Uh, we'll just say that the blueness is affecting my memory. So, <laughs> I give you mentioned females. I'll give you everything, but I'll give you one thing. Um, give me a sec here. Oh, beer back. So, um, you recall a, a certain, uh, sect of giants that, uh, worshipped a deity called Vaprak, um, who is more or less a, uh, I guess he was more of like a, a demigod or a lesser deity. But he was considered to be um, a god of mostly ogres and trolls, but some giants also um, revered him. Aye. Um, but you also know that um, those who kind of worship this demigod um, sometimes got boons. They were sometimes gifted with uh, some sort of supernatural traits or strengths from this god. Okay. Perhaps from what Gail's describing, Gail noticed that one of the giants that you saw earlier um, in the woods had multiple heads. And uh, from what Gail's describing, this kind of perhaps these giants were. Um, Worshipping this god or a similar god that granted such boons that uh, may have given them multiple heads or some kind of appearance that was different than that of a regular ice giant. Okay. Oh, is it? All right. <clears throat> yeah. Well. It rolled higher, told... probably more. We'll yeah, back. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking fortunate, actually. History is like one of my good ones, supposedly. Um, oh, well, if it's a boon, I mean, fuck. I'm kind of already hesitant to even want to challenge them normally. Hmm. It's not. Um, see, so what do you guys want to do? Mexican black tiger, right? Sorry, I'm back. Any of y'all want to go at them? I mean, I'm game. Have we decided <laughs> on if we're going to hire the militia or not hire the militia because it's their fucking city, but see if they're going to help us? We can, we can propose. 
Really? Shut up. I don't see what... Shut up. I don't see why not. I mean, fuck it. I don't know what we're doing, but fuck it. Yeah, I agree. Well, if we're gonna attack the ice giants, right? There is a town guard militia. They're meant to defend the town. Like, we might as well elicit their help. We could try our chances first. See how it's going. And if it's not going in our favor, we can get the heck out of there. And maybe then grab the militia. Because there's no point to endanger the town people if we don't have to. I nod with uh, Gail. All right. Well, if we... I mean, if you, if you think I'm being a freaking idiot, you can tell me, but... Well, if they, well no, like, if they, if being, like, D&D-wise, it makes sense, but, like, as a player, like, Cronus is like, we're just regular people. Like, we're fighting giants. You're just scared of giants. But... Uh, yeah, I'm fine with it. Fuck it. Yeah, and I mean, it might do to raise our standing in this town anyway. I don't know, ultimately, what benefit that provides. Um... But mead. It was good mead. Dude, but I don't know so how we're gonna... much mead they have left anyway, but yeah, like... <clears throat> so we're gonna try to see if they'll, like, fight with us? Is that what yeah. I'm kind of yeah. grasping out here? Yeah, trying mead. to be old, like... No, I thought we went with the whole... Pitchforks. And we'll see, we'll fight them by ourselves, and if we're getting our ass eight, we'll somehow try to run away and help we don't die and get the people to help us. Can we just, yeah, I mean, sure. Gotta figure out who's in charge mm. of the militia anyway, but. Do it to a vote if you want. Old Harry. Well, like I said, I think as long as we have a strategy going into this, I think we'll be good. As long as we just play it smart. Like, I, I think I think focusing, focusing down one at a time is probably a good idea. Like, the faster we can take one of them out of the fight, I think, like I said, once we get one of them down, I think our chances of winning will go up astronomically. Sounds fair. Yeah. Wait, where uh, are we fighting now? I think it's only why or time what? Before, before they attack this town. I mean, do we know that they're gonna? Well, they're getting extremely close to the town. Like, extremely close. Mm, this town better be fucking worth it. Name's good need. Or good weed. Do it for old Henry. <laughs> Is it Henry or Harry? I don't remember. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys want to do? Regardless, these things probably need to be taken care of regardless like either way. Uh, whatever path we choose, it's gonna have to happen, probably. So I'm we can go with the Gale strategy, or we can try and get some backup. It's three giants, and one of them about fucking clocked one of us earlier, so, I mean... That's what I'm saying, if, if, if we can get the jump on them and take one of them out of the fight real quick, our chances to go up real... real. But that's, so that's only if we find one that manages to be isolated. And it also... Isolated. There's teleportation magic going on, too. There's no telling when another one can just pop in on us. What do you say, Sense? I said ice elated. Ha ha! ha. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I put oh, my well, dagger we gotta out use, we gotta it use my that. Neck. We gotta use that strategy now. After if, that pun, we've got, if, we have if, to do if you, think no you can, if you think you can isolate one, that's fine. But I don't want to have fight one and then two show up and start welling on this. Well, trying well to not even... Off. Not even, not even, even if, even if we can't manage to split one away from the rest of the group, even if we just get the drop on one on, on them, and we all manage. Well, this to... plan lies on the fact that there's only three giants. So what's, what's stopping more from teleporting? Like we don't know. I'm back. Well, it could mean, be five. What's stopping? It could be six. A horde of ice giants from just appearing in the middle of our, of our caravan here. And just killing us instantly. Like, you can't, well, because the thing is, we know that there's Shardlin here. We can surmise that those giants are probably working for the Warlord and Sunblade. 
We don't know how many ice giants are in his disposal. We do know they're coming here for a reason, like they're teleporting here because they want Shardolin. We don't know if more can come because we've only been there the one time. We should stake it out, see, is it always the same three? Is it different, like, etc. Versus just going and attacking after we see them the one time. I don't mind that. Yeah, that, fine that with that information like gathering yeah. on, some scouting. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I'm not opposed to that. We can make a more educated decision. So what, do you just want to, like, rest up tonight, head to the clearing tomorrow, and just stake it out and see if one pops up, or however many? Maybe we should go around the same time tomorrow. Probably, yeah. Or... If they're on a schedule for yeah. coming and looking, then yeah. That was at, like, what, like, 7 o'clock-ish or something? Or prior to around... It was six uh, or something. around 2 or 3 p.m. Oh, wow, I was way off. We're going to miss the party, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> We can go there on two, but we should also either go earlier or stay to see if another party comes around, if they're on a schedule of sorts, if there's more, or is it just one party? So rest up, head out there, maybe like around like 11 or so. Sure. Yeah, that works. That way. If anything, we can kind of spread out around the trees, and if... You know, stuff goes south, see if we can take one out, run away, or whatever. Ah, guerrilla warfare. What's a gorilla? I was waiting on it. The Drew was going to say something about gorillas. I think all right, we're all so. in concordance then with whatever we're going to do. All right, so. so are you guys going to rest up now? Or yeah. I'm going to rest up and then head out there in the morning. Okay. Um, so where are you guys going to rest? Is there an inn? There is an inn. <gasps> was, it on the, the was, it, was it in the meat hall? Does the meat hall double yes. as an inn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I vote the inn. I think that's our only, our only choice. <laughs> I don't mind staying with the... Yeah, I was going to be in the cart, personally. I was going to say the cart, yeah. Why do you want not like in this town? I don't want someone taking our cart. Oh, well, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, like... Well, it's I okay, was, the pill gonna... never bothered me anyways. Shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Throw yourself on your sword. <laughs> you know, as they talk about the meat hall... You kind of get uncomforting feelings about how um, how you were treated the last time you walked in there. And uh, Kieran, I about that. by the look on Kieran's face, uh, you can deduce that he also uh, has these same feelings. And he says, uh, I'll sleep at the cart as well. Yeah, I should probably do the same, to be honest. Food, they're going to try to kill me in my sleep. What's wrong with you two? Well, in your defense, you are blue. I'd look at you fucking weird yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> True. So I was just gonna leave the shield guard outside because it's not like I could put him in a room with us anyway. But you know, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, just hang out in the car. I'll leave him out there with y'all then. Okay. All right. What were you saying, sense? Who, who all is going to stay at the end? Everyone but Ood, Kieran, and Adol. And Cronus. Well, so I was going to stay with the cart. Oh my god, okay, so it's just going to be me and fucking Ophelia then. <laughs> <laughs> no I, no, no wacky Nibbles business in there. No wacky Nibbles business, okay? I would never. <laughs> okay. So the three of you uh, head on over to the meat hall then. Um, at this point, it's 9 p.m. You press inside, and uh, the uh, the uh, bartender here doubles says, um, like the uh, guy who got the counter. Can't think of. Inky. 
Yeah, in cute. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> he looks up, sees you and Ophelia, and then uh, kind of just like, looks and back and frowns. He does what? Looks he back frowns. down and frowns. Like right away. <laughs> I'm gonna clap a feel in the back and let her handle this. Uh -huh. Go talk to the man. He's obviously disappointed in us, and I think he'll probably uh, be a little bit better talking to what I assume is a uh, woman than me. I'm gonna walk up to him and say, uh, uh, hi, sir. Can we can we get two rooms for tonight? Uh, he grumbles and he says, uh, "That'll be four gold pieces per room." I'm, I'm gonna look. <laughs> wait per room. Yeah. Per room. Look back at a born and hold a four. I'm gonna squint my eyes and look at her like four. Nod <laughs> yeah, real quick. I'm gonna shake my head. <laughs> Ask him why four. It was cheaper last time. Doesn't one of you have, one of you have a gun? <laughs> Does one of us have a gun? Yeah. I have a blowgun. Hold on, hold gun. There you go. Just pointing at it. Yeah, I'm just going to pull out my shotgun from my backpack. I'm you pull know. up a blowgun, hold up my mouth, talk around like, this is a stuck off. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did you say four? I think you meant to say one gold piece. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Blow some hair at him. Don't you think four is a little high? Roll, uh, My friend says that it is. Roll persuasion. Persuasion, this one. He gives a sigh and he looks over you a bit and looks back at Thorn. And, uh, Hello, when, guys. The last time you were here, you bought a, uh, you bought some meat from this guy. Like three bottles to be exact. Exact. You, you uh, remember this guy. And, uh, oh, yeah, I do remember this guy. What the hell are you being an asshole? He sighs and he says, I suppose three gold pieces and five silver. Okay, right. <laughs> Two gold pieces is fair. Look back at Vorn and do the same with two fingers now. Just nod my head. All right, then we'll take it. Or Vorn take puts them. the blowgun back in his bag. <laughs> He's had Relax. his hand in the pocket, holding Relax. onto it this whole time. Relax my grip on the blowgun. <laughs> yeah. Keep, keep, keep the shit strapped, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> He scribbles something down on a piece of parchment and presses his hand against the counter and removes it. And there's two in keys. Um, where's Tamlin's was? Okay. All right, I'm going to take them, walk over, give one to Morn. All right. It's weird he was acting like that. Look at this. These people don't like us. Hmm. I'm gonna walk up the stairs towards where. What did y'all do? I think, I think what we did was precisely nothing. And I think the fact that we did nothing. I don't believe you. Got us in trouble. We honestly didn't do anything. I think that's why they're mad that we didn't do anything. <laughs> Just gonna stare at Vorn. Ophelia, if you want to roll an insight, you can do that. <clears throat> Do I need to contest this with something? No, she's rolling an insight um, to see if she can understand why the innkeep was so bitter. Uh -huh. um, Ophelia, um, the last time you were in good need, a lot of these people were very amenable. Um, they seemed very kind and not like 
overly generous kind, but uh, more kind than some other people that you've met. And um, you, you know, as you've traveled through Icewind Dale, there's a fair share of rumor spreading that happens in the taverns. And word gets around very quickly, around 10 towns. Um, and last time you were in good need, they had some issues that they had, that they were going through. And um, you guys kind of did like a drive-by and continued on your way. Uh, and it dawns on you that perhaps word of your ventures and conquests have traveled uh, to other ten towns. They've heard of your successes. And these ten towns who you haven't helped um, in their times of need uh, may be a bit cold, <laughs> if you will, <laughs> to... Uh, to it's what, it's what the, the old guy was saying, right? More or less. Yeah, I'm gonna frown and look at Vorn with this realization. That's what I said. We did nothing. But in, in, in our what? defense, it's not really on us to, you know, solve every Tom, Dick, and Harry's problem that we come across. You know. We're doing something tomorrow, and I'm gonna say that as I walk up to my room. Are you saying that to me? Or are you saying that to the Inky? <laughs> I'm saying that to you. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna leave. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. As you guys get to your rooms, uh, you realize that these rooms aren't the best rooms. Um, they're nice, they're comfortable, but they're not like two gold piece rooms for sure. It's fine. I'm only planning on spending a look at my invisible clock. About four hours here anyway. <laughs> Some weird yogurt scenes on the wall. <laughs> I don't want to use a black light. I lick them. Um, <laughs> question for the entire party. Uh, does anyone want to do anything before they sleep? How cold are y'all? <laughs> really? Is there a general store here? Or like a shop? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do we ready to go? I, I don't remember. I, I went just briefly before coming back to the meat hall. Mm. Much time, well, what time was it right now? It's about 10 p.m. Oh, you're going to be close, huh? Most likely. Okay. Then, just... No, I'll just go to bed. Okay, Are we good? I'm going to offer a prayer and then go to sleep. <laughs> if you want to do your little roll, you can. I wonder if there's like a red lantern district. That's unfortunate. Ah, damn. This is, uh, actually, that one's good. Oh, I mean, that's bad. I mean, it's, you know, a number. <laughs> those of you who are. Your God forsakes you. Say that again. <laughs> For those of you who are around Kronos. Um, you see him do something that he has done pretty much every night now. Um, he kneels in the snow and folds his hands, and before him extends a giant wang. Yeah, a giant penis. No, no it's like a <laughs> very cross. Having a silver quick KT. And uh, <clears throat> the cross immediately bursts. In an aura of white, and once more, uh, you see this figure of a red angel um, crucified to this cross, nice. and uh, its eyes stare at the sky and are burning red. Oh man! Is his name Chris? Wait, is it a girl or boy angel? Uh, angels are mostly in Chris garages, Angel. Really? It's Chris Angel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm glad someone picked up on that. So stupid. Chris Cross Angel. 
<laughs> and he starts levitating off the ground now. Look how magic works. Uh, there's a fucking gold coin in my arm. <laughs> Chris turns looks by the point. I'm about to freak your mind. <laughs> he just starts sewing his own mouth shut. Right? Welcome to Mind Freak. Nah, dude, fight. <laughs> so bad. Kronos kind of looks like Chris Angel, now that I think of it. Um, <laughs> Why do you think he worships him? <laughs> this angel, though, seems to have more masculine features. Oh man. Then Chris Angel? Oh, uh, any of them. Yeah, Chris Angel's a bitch. My <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I tell Cronus, yo, that was a neat trick. Was that your dad? It's even funnier considering the fact that he did a little disappearing act earlier. <laughs> 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 Please no. <laughs> That's so bad. All right. Cronus is magic. Does oh he just whisper to himself? <laughs> my freak. I, I, I legit forgot what that dude looked like. All this shit. Yeah. <laughs> so bad, bro. Why are you gay? <laughs> Why? Tell me. Betting? Why are you gay? <laughs> All right, I think it's time for bed, boys. <laughs> 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 Um, you know, That's a bad this. omen. Cronus has to do that pose every time he does this ritual now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel what? That's the pose that the angel was in on the no. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you feel a little less like you're gonna be um, immune to intoxication, but you're still oh. immune to intoxication. Awesome, in awesome. Eighteen days. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Uh, the rest of you sleep fairly well, but uh, I will need some D8s. You guys would. Everybody? Every, everybody. This one? Fuck! This one. Oh, what the fuck are these rolls? Roll the bait. Alright. Excuse me. Fred, fucking these chip takis, holy shit, they're spicy. Yeah, they're probably more coated on there. Yeah, it burns like fuck. I actually have a bag in my kitchen. And they're, they're disgusting. I did put my mustard. Bloated. I feel bloated when I eat them. Yeah, that sounds like takis in a nutshell. Oh, no, no, normal takis are great. Uh, where did you guys park the cart? Yes. Uh, I might. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. I'd imagine probably like the same place they parked the last time. Yeah. Listen for the it fish. Was, it was a little out of town, wasn't it? There's a place where I like to go. Yeah, you, you do hear that uh, fish singing every five minutes. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing we just sleep through it, right? We're just used to it at this point. Wait, what, we stealth. What did you say, I said you hear that fish singing throughout the night. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> do we, like, yeah, whenever we're stealthing, do we just like cover the mouth of the fish or something? Well, um, we don't stealth the entire <laughs> cart, so. I feel like the fish is sentient and just fucks with us. Yeah. Fish is the final bad guy. Always has been. He's gonna be like, one day he's gonna start singing. He's gonna be like, Country roads, take me home, <laughs> East Haven, where I belong. <laughs> We've had some pretty interesting experiences with fish. Now that I think about it. Yeah, we watch uh, our old thing with this one. Fishy. When you're the first awake. Yep. And it's about two in the morning. Is there anything you'd like to do? Vorn goes down the stairs and looks at the barkeep. Sir, dude. Yeah, actually, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm gonna do. 
There was a change in shifts. The barkeep is someone different now. Oh. Damn. Does this guy... Does this barkeep hate us too? Yeah. It's a skinny guy, and uh, he's got glasses. Oh, a pussy. Nice. And as he sees you, uh, you can see him kind of get like a little shaky. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to him. <clears throat> Why are you shaking, bud? <laughs> What's shaking? That's what I'm gonna ask him. <laughs> What's shaking? <laughs> uh, good, good morning, sir. Oh no. Are you, are you okay? Uh, how was your stay uh, at the meat hall? Uh, a little less than satisfactory. But, uh. Okay. You know, it's, <laughs> it's how it goes, <laughs> I guess. Say, uh. Do you know of any, like. areas around here where the ice might be a little thin? Uh, uh well, uh. If you go out, well, uh. You know, uh. Just past the docks. Um, Today, Junior. Yeah. Um. You might <laughs> find some thin ice. Out past the docks. Okay. Um, it's like a big swallow. Do y'all have any breakfast here? Uh, 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 and he reaches uh, under the counter and pulls out a bowl of oats with a spoon in it. <laughs> All right. Can I can I take this outside with me? <laughs> uh, 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 sure. Okay. How much is this? Uh, 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 and he scratches his head. Uh, roll an insight. <laughs> oh, it's not that hard. This is probably this kid's breakfast. <laughs> He'll give you shit. <laughs> he says, uh, uh, five silver? Sure, I'll give him the five silver fucking. <laughs> Here, it's in the pocket. Yeah. Alright, I'll. I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna walk, carry the bowl with me, and eat it on the way out past the docks. Already. Uh, I'm trying to find somewhere to fish, so I have that fishing okay. rod with me, and I have that little magic uh, fish hook that I got. So um, do you walk out to the docks? Yeah. I'm kind of looking for where there might be some thin ice. Yeah. Roll investigation. Get those. And then how about rolling me a d12? <laughs> Fuck. Damn, son. So, one yard away, uh, you see a patch of thin ice on the, the uh, on this river, or this lake. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to, uh, strap my crampons on and walk out towards it. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to pull one of my uh, pittens out and just kind of like chip away at the ice and, you know, break it away. You easily break open the ice. Alright. Um, <laughs> I'm going to sit down cross-legged and tie this fish hook to the end of the uh, to the end of the rod. Are we into the water. Excellent. So the fish hook um, is a you're looking at it as you're attaching it to the bowl and it's you're using the, the magical one, right? Yes. It's silver and it has a little gold feather attached to it and it almost seems to sparkle. It should some little aura uh, as you lower it into the, the hole in the ice. Um, and do you, you just sit there with it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to remember the uh, criteria for you. It's supposed to be, um, what, like at least ten feet down, or the body of water has to be ten feet. I'm trying to figure out like there's a there's a requirement for like how deep the body of water has to be, but I don't know if it has to descend past a certain depth. You know. Yep. Uh, ten feet is is good enough. Okay. Yeah, and I think um, it's like you sit there for like it has to be like an hour or so. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll just sit there holding it, right. eating the porridge. 
So after an hour, Oops. an hour passes. Um, roll a d6. This isn't for the fish roll, is it? Something different. Yeah. Okay. You feel something uh, pulling against the line. Okay. Um, does it seem like I've caught something? Or is something nibbling on it? Uh, roll perception. Percepi checky. Feels like something's nibbling on it. Okay. Is it, is it nibbles? Is it nibbles? Nibbles, please no. All right, well, I will just uh, ignore that then until something, until it feels like something's actually bit it. Oh, okay. Something's not supposed to bite it. I hope nothing bites it and takes it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it that sensation stops. Uh, do you wait another hour? We're back. Yes. Alright. Do I roll after an hour? Or Yes. So another hour passes and you roll another D6. Fuck. Dude, what is my rolls tonight? Um You feel the line do like a tug, but then like nothing happens. Uh, can I pull it up to make sure I still have the fish hook? Sure. Okay, I'll pull it up. You reel it in, and um, the hook is still there, but a big clump of seaweed or river weed is attached to your line. All right, I'll just uh, look at it disgusted and pull it off and throw it somewhere. All right. And I'll lower it again. All right. You roll another d6. Uh, nothing happens. Alright, last hour, I guess, everyone wakes up. Alright, roll another d6. Bro. Again, nothing happens. Haul it up then and turn around and walk back to the end. <laughs> Already. I guess that's that's what that's been four hours, right? Yep. Okay. So at this point, uh it begins to snow. Oh boy. This place I like to go. It begins to snow harder and harder. How far and, out from uh, the docks was I? Uh you were only like a yard. Okay. So yeah, you make it back, uh, and then the snow is furiously beating down on this town. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's blizzarding. Right. And, uh, I'm gonna say you can kind of make your way throughout the town, um, without kind of losing your way, but, uh, at the same time, it's very, um, Annoying, I guess. Where are you headed for? Uh, back to the meat hall. Alrighty. After a few minutes, you return to the meat hall. I walk back up to the little shaky McShaker and give him his bowl and his spoon back. He says, oh, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, no problem. And then I'll just cop a squat and wait for... I guess Ophelia to come downstairs, I don't know. Be Ophelia, Nipples, what are you guys doing? Is, I, is it time for us to wake up? Yep. Oh, then yeah, I'm heading downstairs. Oh, way better. I guess I'll walk over. Alright, it's time to help these people. We promise. Promises being made, but a mutual agreement, sure. But okay. I promise myself. Okay, well, I don't give a fuck what you promise yourself, all right? <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't slap you, and that gets harder and harder as the days go by. Um, but here we 
we are. Gonna head back to the, uh, try and find our way to the cart. It's blizzarding like a motherfucker outside. It is coming down. You guys head back to the, the wagon. Yes, and with that, I gotta go. Yeah, sure. Alrighty. I'll see you. Sorry. I'll just no leave her here then. <laughs> Alright, I'll try and make my way back to the cars. Oh, fat. With the T-posing Ophelia under your arm. <laughs> Just point. instant T-pose. Second she leaves the voice, the, the Discord call, it's just instant T-pose. Yeah. Her arms just like immediately snap up. Even, like, yeah. <laughs> I just like frame, frame by frame, like boop, like just <laughs> snap up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, the wind is whipping through the town. I will hold the T-posing affiliate as a shield in front of my face. <laughs> she I... takes a lot of the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have goggles yeah, you... done as part of my cold weather gear, right? Or is that that was an additional thing, wasn't it? Uh, I think you do. I think we just assumed that that goggles is part of the cold weather gear. Okay, I'll pull them down over my face and try to make my way. Yeah, you're able to make it a bit easier back to the, the wagon this way. Okay. Um, and everyone is now rejoined. And nobody died. Another night, success. Well, tell you, we smelly hose. Well, I would say we should make our way after those frost giants. However, this weather does not seem to want to let us do that. Yeah, do you all, were you all comfortable out here last night? You know, be, be nice and cozy. Oh, yeah. You know it. Yeah. Did my fish keep you like warm? Teleportation too. Instance. I was answering do. It's more like a teleportation of limbs. <laughs> Alright, so what do you guys want to do? So we could have someone leave the session, right? No, we could have someone straighten up, wedge them into a crack, and then when they leave, they just arms pop out and it just like spreads whatever they're wedged into. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I know we said we were going to go worry about some ice giants today, but uh, gesturing at the sky. Y'all want to try that with this? Um, maybe we can try and see how long this blizzard's going to be blizzarding for. Glances at Ophelia. <laughs> Ophelia is like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and she spends 10 minutes doing her thing. Forget I, whatever it was. I think it was a ritual. Druid craft or some shit. Yeah, that's ten minutes. I think. I think it was a ritual. She's like, uh, I think it's gonna be like, uh, two or three hours longer. <laughs> no, we can just wait that out then. Can I wait that out and head out then? Yeah, so I guess, think so. Yeah, sure. I think we should. Fuck it. Are you guys gonna can wait? Um, just wait it out then. If that is allowed, oh dungeon master. Sure. Gene Bai needs to like do anything while we're in town. This is a good chance to as well. And you all will have to eat aside from Vorn. Good thing I've got these rations. <clears throat> you said it was what, like two hours that we get something like that? Or you could yeah. just go into town and eat. Gesturing over my shoulder. It's like eating yeah, well, a was... bar outside of a, a fucking subway. Like, I want to know. Is the is the general store open right now, or where the fuck it is? Uh, you would deduce that it probably would be. Uh, then I want to go because even then I can buy some rations. Already. Hell yeah! What's my handbook? I'm gonna go with him. No. Okay. No black people. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no blue people. Fuck you. I'm the one going. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck, fuck you. <laughs> oh, uh, let me right back again. Oh. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. No worries. 
I'm gonna tag, well, tag along anyway because you don't pay my sub. <sighs> Whatever. Where is, I'm looking for the uh, the page in the book that has the stuff. One fifty. Oh yeah, there it is. Thank you. So you're, you're okay. looking. Oh, I already had a bookmark here. You're looking for a building, and the sign is halfway hanging off. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's pretty uh dubious. Yeah, I can offer them the help to to fix that sign, and that'll be my good deed for the day. <laughs> yeah. So, it all you're going alone then? Uh, no, it looks like Ward's coming with me. Already. I don't know if anybody else was. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, you foreign leads you to the place. Does anyone else want to go to the, the general store? Take that as a no. All right. right. Uh, so now that daylight is starting to come up, uh, but it's still blizzarding, um, clearly you're able to see the sign now uh, above Old Henry's general store, and. The wind whips through it very hard that the sign at this point completely dislodges and smashes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sign Just of things to come. Around. Get and, it? Uh, a sign of things. Yeah. <laughs> okay. a, uh, a bundled up woman pushes out of the general store and hurries off to wherever where she needs to go in the midst of this blizzard. <laughs> nice. See. You guys head inside? Yes, sir. I'm gonna pick his sign up. So you can do that. <laughs> we can show it to him and be like fifty dollars um, or fifty gold pieces and we'll fix this for you. <laughs> Sell his sign back to him. <laughs> yeah. I came across this, it looks like it'd fit outside of your store, so I thought, hey, you wanna buy it? <laughs> <laughs> you head inside and uh you see old Henry and uh, he's helping someone at the counter. He looks a bit frazzled, and there's someone else, like, going through merchandise on his shelves. Um, and he seems like he's, like, immensely busy, uh, despite, like, there only being two people in his store. And he gives <laughs> one look at you, Warren, and he kind of frowns. And what the fuck? Go ahead. Nope. Hello. Stance. Dungeon Daddy. Hmm. Anyway, welcome to Old Henry's. Oh, he, he, sne he sneezes on a lot of shit, so I would advise wearing some sort of like gloves or something. Maybe not sneezes, but he like wiped his nose with a handkerchief and then wiped the counter down, so I probably wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'll burn everything. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to sanitize it, I suggest. I suppose. You still have that hook? Yeah. Do you, have any, do you have, like, a hole and stuff for it, or no? A hole? Hole. A oh. Pole. Oh, yeah. he's gone. All right. Yeah. I bought one the last time I was in here. Oh, okay, because I saw that he was selling that uh, block and tackle thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, wait, that's something else. No, fishing tackle's there. Fishing tackle, yeah. No, fishing tackle's there. Welcome back. I can't hear him at all. He might be on his phone. Oh no. Oh, there you go. Hey, you're better. I heard you there. Okay, sorry, my internet's getting weird. Okay, you sound good right now, though. Okay, cool. Uh, what did you guys hear up to? So I just kept talking. So you no were. You, you got. You cut off like mid sentence, but I think it was right after you asked if we decided to go in. Okay. And uh, we did. And that was kind of where I lost you. He was busy. There uh, were two people in the. Yeah, there. there's only two people in the store, and he was—he seemed really busy, and that's yeah. 
Does it sound weird when I disconnect? Because I'm trying to figure out what keeps doing this, and it seems to only happen on my desktop. You don't sound like you uh, when you disconnect. Yeah, you don't sound odd. You just I just stop hearing you completely. Okay. Oh my god. It's enough. Um. So yeah. Uh. You go in, and he seems busy. Um. Despite only having two people in his store, and uh, he sees you, Vorn, and he immediately frowns and looks back to the customer he's handling. And he takes out the same handkerchief he saw last night. And <laughs> and, uh, I, I, nudge, I nudge Fred. I told him about this while you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> he wipes the counter with the handkerchief <laughs> and handles in his other hand. Nailed it. <laughs> Oh I told him that's, I told him that's exactly what he did the last time I was in here, sure enough. <laughs> and you have a sign, right? Yeah, yeah we have a sign. I'm or Vorn does. My arm. Yeah. Alright, so what do you guys want to do? You have the guy he's handling leaves. And he seems to go back to cleaning his counter. <sighs> Henry, was it? Oh, Henry, that's my name. Uh, what can All I right, do? well, I need you to stop cleaning your counter with that same disgusting piece of cloth that you just wiped your nose with. He kind of sneers. Wow. I was like, I want to, I want to start. My buddy here found your sign, the one that was outside your cell. I should say our sign, actually. Do you want, do you want our sign? What are you doing with my sign? It was our sign. Up. It Our fell. sign, we found it. <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> like, completely. Yeah. My grandfather and I hung that sign <laughs> back in 1200 DR. Did you spread as much mucus on it back then as you did on that counter? <gasps> and he looks like he's thinking. That's disgusting. I, would, I, would, I, uh, I am <laughs> critically looking at this sign, like, uh. <laughs> That is disgusting. I would hope that the elements took care yeah, of disinfecting the, that. Hopefully the snow washed, washed it off. All right. We'll get, to the, we'll get to our sign later. I'm here to make some purchases. What do you need? Let me see. What do you got? Actually, do you have any... Anything? Uh, what do we? What would we say? Anything particular? Have you have you got in your hands on anything that you normally don't have? Somebody brought you something interesting. Uh, I have a couple potions. Uh... And he seems to rummage through a crate. <laughs> got a, a book. Uh... I got a uh, strange orb, and he holds up a spherical glass orb. Hmm. And, uh, <clears throat> I have uh, some silk rope. Silk rope? Yes, yes. Interesting. Now, let me ask you about that orb. What do you know about that orb? Well, I don't know much about it in general. Someone uh, came here looking to sell it to me, and I thought it looked quite nice. Hmm. How much did you pay for it? Uh, we did a trade of sorts. <clears throat> he was looking for a lot of uh, equipment, and he didn't quite have the gold coin to uh, offer up for it, so... Uh, he instead offered me this orb. Orb, huh? What that? What did that fella look like? If you remember, anything uh, odd about him? He, he seems to be. Uh, he seemed to be wearing uh, a dark cloak. Dark cloak. You hearing this, Warren? Uh, yeah. A bit robust. <clears throat> Dwarf. Hmm. Can I see that orb? He uh, reluctantly hands it over to you. Oh my god. Uh, can I roll like uh, whatever you want me to roll to kind of like see if I know anything about it? Or figure sure. anything out about it? What do you want me to roll? The uh, Arcana. Arcana. I will do just that. 
Oh, I still had advantage on. Whoops. That's okay. That's a good roll. sell this man sign back to him oh we're keeping it okay no i'm gonna give it back to him Jesus Christ. oh all right whatever <laughs> <laughs> like i felt bad enough about him the last time i was in here i'm not gonna give him the sign i paid full price for this shitty fucking fishing rod dude okay So it'll, uh, you look into this orb, and as you touch it with your hand, um, you can kind of see a green <laughs> swirl inside of it. Oh, man. Okay. The pallets hmm. are not all accounted for. <laughs> um, I don't know. You, Maybe. You've I never seen an orb with, uh, such... such a kind of like imbuement inside of it, but um, you can tell that um, you think you know what this might be uh, based on the, the color of the swirl inside of the orb and um, it seems to be um An orb of uh, gaseous form. Hmm. That basically, uh, you uh, once a day you can use it, and um, you can cast the spell gaseous form. Um, oh. On yourself. Nice. Is that like unlimited use, or do I not know that? Uh, one charge per day. One charge per day. Okay. I'm very interested in this. I look at Henry and I was like, Henry, how much uh how much do you want for this orb? Ooh, well, um I'd like my sign back before I do any <laughs> type of dealings with you. I'll give you your sign back and we'll even hang it back up for you. He strokes his beard. Beard? What well, is probably. Suppose I could part with it. For 75 gold pieces. 75 gold pieces. Hmm. I do like this. What's the lowest you're willing to go? Roll uh, persuasion. All right. You know, because you offered to hang my sign back up, uh, I suppose I could part with it for 35 gold pieces. No lower okay. than that. That's absolutely fantastic. I will take that. Uh, I still have a few other items that I do want to ask you for, though, Sir Henry. Um, let me have... Uh, give me a healer's kit. And let me have... <clears throat> what, was the, what was the math? How many silver pieces are gold? Ten? Ten. 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 Let me have six rations. Uh, goes and retrieves the items that you asked for. 
Okay, so that, if I might, if my math is correct, that's forty-three gold pieces. You know what? I'm in a pretty good mood. Warren, you want anything? No, I think I'm good. I just wanted to ask him if he ever actually caught any fish with this fishing pole. Oh yes, um, my uh, my great grandfather. <coughs> they him go old, old Henry. Let's use that fishing rod. And he reaches your items as he talks it all and puts them on the counter. Nice. Oh, we caught plenty of fish uh, with that rod. Okay, I'm just wondering. I took it for a spin this morning and was, uh, it, you know, it actually, in hindsight, it's probably just you sure I couldn't catch anything. You sure you don't want any worms? I got worms. Wait, how much are you selling those worms for? I'll sell them for five silver pieces. Is that just a jar or a can? It's a can of worms, yeah. Does he, does he only have the one? Oh, I got at least a half a dozen here. Okay. Uh, Did you say it was me... one of five with the inventory on it? Hmm? Is it was it page one of five in the player's handbook? One fifty. One fifty. One fifty. Okay. You know what? Give me two of those jars of worms or can of worms. Sure. And he also puts those up on the counter. And All right. perception. Perception. Oh god. Oh, not in this PDF. It isn't. Where's my book at? Oh, it's probably just like a page off or so from the PDF. Oh, the PDF. Uh, this one's way off, actually. Let me see. This one, this one puts me in the trinket section. God fucking damn it. A zero. <laughs> Ordinary can of worms. Wow. Well, uh, hold up a second. All right, well. <laughs> I like the way you said it. Ordinary can of worms. All right, well, yeah, I'm, I'm taking these ordinary cans of worms. Um, You know what? I'm just going to give him 50 gold pieces for everything I paid for it, and he can use the rest to go see a fucking apothecary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me add all this shit to inventory. Um, is there like a name or something for that orb that I got since? I just want to call it um, Gassy uh, Orb. Can I call it Gassy Orb? Yeah, Gassy that's orb. fine. All right. Um, completely a harm real item. <laughs> I'll drop this in uh, into your lore chat for a reference, Fred. All right, thank you. I already had a healer's kit. Let me record it. I guess I have to now. going to purchase anything for uh, I'm, just, let me t I'm taking stock of my fucking rations. I've got nine of those. Uh... Nah. Nah, not really. I'm good. Um, I'm going to ask him if he has a ladder, though, so I can help him hang his sign back up. Or if he has, like, ladders and chains and shit. He walks into a, a small back room and comes I can always just to... I can always just give you spider climb and you just do what you need to do. Oh, that's true, too. I forgot you have that. Yeah, I'll, we'll just do that. Yeah, Let the party just not slop over the fucking ladder. Rickety old, <laughs> Rick the old ladder. Let's beat the shit. Yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it, Henry, but we'll, we'll, we'll handle it. You, <laughs> yeah, we'll, don't worry yourself. We'll take care of it. Not, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I like Henry. Um, well, thank you for coming to visit my shop. Hey, yeah, uh, no problem, man. Just uh, clean yourself up a little bit and uh, take care of yourself. Actually, let oh, me ask again. you. Actually, do you have chain? Do you have any chain? Chains? Yeah, I suppose I have some chains. <coughs> Can I get like <coughs> twenty feet worth ish? <laughs> He reaches under the counter and retrieves um, two, like, wounds of chains in shrink-wrap plastic. <laughs> sits them on the counter. <laughs> Imagine. <Yeah. laughs> 
Imagine those being the, the cleanest things in the whole store. The pulls, out, pulls out the twin pack. <laughs> the twin pack value size, bro. Like a, a ball of chains, and they're all kind of like interwoven together, and he spends a few minutes getting out uh, two ten-foot lengths of chain. <coughs> That's the on the counter. And he says, No, oh, that'll be ten gold pieces. Ten gold pieces for the lot? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'll put ten on the counter. And I will, uh... Says, you know what? And he puts a third ten-foot chain here. You could have this as well. For... Uh, <clears throat> sign. Hey, wait. If you're buying the chains, uh, why don't you buy some pythons or something to kind of, you know, latch on the stuff? I have some. Oh, okay. Yeah, I still have some left over. Um... This chain, this third set of chains, is that for your sign, or is that on the house? What, what am I doing with this? It's on the house. You could, you could have that. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take that. Um, would you be... Did you need chains for the sign? Uh, To fix it, I might need some way to reattach it, but you know, I'll figure something out. He gets you some more chains and uh, also like a hammer and some nails. And okay. Some other general things that you might need. Yeah, just okay. Puts it on the counter. I'll bring all these back to you after I fix the thing. Um, can I. How many? How much does a bag of holding hold? Uh, 500 pounds. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just throw the chain, the three sets of chains in the. Uh, the... Was that 10 pounds a piece, I think, is what the book said? Yeah. I need to keep a separate thing to keep track of my fucking bag of holding, but okay. <clears throat> Three I'm not sure chains. I gotta do some inventory management at some point. Okay. It's, it's better than two chain. Oh! <laughs> Got him. Got him. Okay. Yeah, it's in pounds. Okay. Alright. I'll slap all that in there then. Alright. Let's go fix this sign. Let's do it. All right. So I guess it's still blizzarding. Um, do you each want to roll me weird check, but sleight of hand. Okay. Yeah. I'll roll sleight of hand all day, baby. What you talking about? Oh yeah, bro. Slide my hand up them thighs. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's kind of cold out here. Not anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's not that's not terrible considering my shit. All right, I'll take that. Yeah, you both spend <coughs> two minutes repairing this sign. Sweet. I'm going to jump Thanks. over to the rest of the party. Nice. Uh, what do you guys want to do? <coughs> I'm assuming those two have they, they gone off and they're doing something. I was here for the they left. Yeah, yeah we they, came to the general store. Yeah. How long has passed, roughly? Like, how much time uh, has passed? They just went out, but they probably are going to be half hour to an hour. Uh, I think we're, we're just waiting out the storm right now, so I Hurry. guess I'd maybe just try and look around and make sure there aren't any frost giants making their way downtown, walking fast, <laughs> fast, fast. <laughs> I was hoping he'd want to come and see what me and Warren were up to, and we were just going to be fucking whacking each other with the chains. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <coughs> see more here. <coughs> signs of any frost giants. Okay, okay. Anyone else want to do anything? No. Already. I'm just gonna be making my way back to the uh, cart. You guys All repair right. the sign. Uh, you leave with your goods. Is there anything else you guys wanted to do? Uh, yeah, real quick. Um, Ophelia's still T-posing, right? Yep. Can I put a worm in her mouth? Sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> I do that. Uh, you open your can of worms, and uh, there's... Um, there's many worms in this can squirming about. <clears throat> uh, he 
take a life worm and you put it in her mouth. Hell yeah. Have some nature, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. She can turn into a Easter worm egg. now because of... <laughs> she's seen one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Easter egg if uh, Ophelia listens to this. Hi, Ophelia. Future Ophelia. Yeah. Um, when you come back, you have worms. Yo, does Nibbles eat worms? Does Nibble want a worm? Does not. All right, cool. I was like, maybe it's gonna be like rations for nibbles. I literally bought these with just. I'm gonna be putting them in Ophelia's hair every so often. <laughs> uh, you can roll another perception if you want. Who? You. Oh hell yeah. I think was it wisdom. All right, thank you. These cans of worms. Super greasy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she wasn't vegan. I don't know if bugs fall into that category. Do they? I don't know. Like, like I'm assuming grease probably does. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. oh, my. <laughs> All right. Anyways. What do you guys want what's to up, do? rest of party? How y'all doing? It's probably been about two hours now. Uh, Blizzard's still going. It's fucking Wimdy. Hey, one more hour to yeah. go. Um, it's such a shame that Blizzard's still going. Can I? Oh, oh, all right, so this is what I wanted to. While we're just waiting and we're finagling about, <clears throat> is there any way I can use like one ten foot length of chain or whatever to? set up like a harness for the shield guardian like to like loop it around his waist or something and then tie it to the actual part of the car so it's kind of like hands free when it's pulling sure oh um, we're supposed to eat did everybody else eat i already ate I, I, well I hate i'm just gonna eat one of my rations then so i cast fireball <clears throat> poor kid with parkinson's bowl of oatmeal this morning <laughs> oh damn i paid him for it so it's not too bad Oh, that's fair. Look, I gave money to a disabled kid. We helped the old dude hang his sign back up. I don't know what the... I don't know what people thought were so bad about us. <clears throat> Why would you help gonna... a disabled kid? You're giving him false hope. <laughs> I'm gonna I've use been helping same... you. I don't see the difference. <laughs> Where do you think I'm getting all my false hope from? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, what are you saying, Sense? I'm going to use the same slit of hand check you used earlier for him. Um... You've been handling chains today, so you would know probably how to work them around your shield guardian without much effort. And uh, if you'd like, you could spend the next hour or so just um, tying up your shield guardian to the, the wagon. I just want to have it set up so that I can just like really quickly just like <clears throat> do them if I need to use it for combat purposes, you know, like just yeah, that's fine. A little attach and kind of my car. I'm going to say you could use one of your pythons you fashion kind of like a clasp with the chain and uh, you're able to clasp and unclasp. Alright, sick. Get these chains on and off. Nice. No. Hey, Cronus. Cronus. Cronus, Cronus what's up? What? Hey, you like worms, bro? No. I mean, oh, I don't need them. Did you see me feed one to Ophelia a minute ago? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> I, I fed her a worm. You look she at her hungry. And there's a worm wiggling out the side of her mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, it's <laughs> it's fed AFK. Yeah, He's man. gone. Oh, bro. Fed's gone. Yo, get he... fucked, bro. <laughs> He's fucking oh, rain, It's dude. beautiful. Oh, man. that's amazing. <clears throat> it's a greasy worm too. Uh. That was given to us by Henry, the mucus guy. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sir Henry the Old. I hope next session, the first time Ophelia tries to talk, Sensus is going to be like, when you open your mouth, you feel all wiggling in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I hope that happens for continuity purposes. Um. <laughs> I remember it well. Um, so uh, the blizzard at this point eases up. And uh, the skies become clear. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, look. I guess we can head on out. If everybody's ready to go. Everybody ate their breakfast and all that good stuff. Yeah. We are Wait, good to so. go. Are we leaving or are we hiring the ship? I forgot what we we're doing. I thought we were going to go like, to scout, the, scout things out first. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah well, right. oh, 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 oh. Um, because I just remembered. There's a strange phenomenon going in Icewind Dell that some of our players and players, I mean, people in our party get frozen. Uh, we have a, quite a few tea posers here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that means our strength is effectively cut down by what, two people? Um, Kieran yes. and Ophelia? Mm hmm. <clears throat> Would we be going into the fight uh, without? I'd say, those I'd say well, right now it's, it's just it's, like it's, a scouting it's, mission. It's like I'd say it's closer to you know, just maybe just like one and a half. True, <laughs> true, 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 true. I correct myself. All right, yeah, I forgot we're. Scouting oh, oh yeah, who didn't pull his glaive out? <laughs> or, no, sorry, Kieran didn't pull his pull his fists out yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, uh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I forgot we were scouting. I was making the Naruto joke where it's like it's got all of them and then like Sakura's gone and they're like oh yeah Sas Sasuke didn't pull his sword out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh look it was like uh, oh team 7 at 100% team yeah. 7 at 99% yeah <laughs> Sakura's gone water real quick Sasuke pulls his sword up yeah. alright go for it <clears throat> so I right, got well, winning. Huh? I, I got I got an extra 20 foot of chain right so I used 10 putting this up and I got an extra 20 foot. I don't know if y'all wanted to like use this to try and like subdue one of the giants. Maybe like tie it up. I feel like a rope probably wouldn't last very long. But you know if we managed to knock one unconscious or whatever. How thick is that chain? I don't, isn't it like a super low strength check to break that thing? Yeah, I don't. It's I like don't know. fucking giant, dude. It, Unless yeah. that's like some thick chain, like that's well, not I've gonna do anything. I've got twenty feet of it, so if you wrap it multiple times, the strength check goes up, right? <laughs> I don't fucking think so. <laughs> Let's see. I'm pretty sure it tells us in the book. Hold on. It'll be harder, yeah, but I mean, <clears throat> it's a giant. Hey, stents, how big are giants? Uh, giant sized. Yeah, they're but like large. feet in American units. Hmm. Uh, probably like 10, 11 feet, I guess. Okay. Yeah, those chains are going to do shit, bro. Okay. Well, you know what? We can. I mean, we can try. Oh, well, it's, a, never mind. It's, like, it. it's, a, it's a 20 strength check. DC 20 strength check. So maybe. I don't know. To break a chain? Yeah. Yeah, so if I have two of them wrapped around, it'll be a DC 40 strength check. Yeah. Pretty sure that's not the way it works. <laughs> Right, DM. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. What was the question? <laughs> if it's a DC 20 strength check to break a chain, and I wrapped a giant with it, if I use two chains, would it double the strength check? Um, probably not. Damn. Okay. Just... Uh, it depends, I'd <laughs> say, because if you like wrap someone in like lots of chains. Um, they're probably not going to get out. They'll probably, like, raise it by two each time or something like that. But if we're talking about, like, a giant, you definitely need a lot of chains to wrap around a giant. It's fine. I've got 20 feet worth. If, it, if we're not, it, we don't have to do it. It's just, I have chains for chain purposes. Okay. Two chains. Oh, two chains. Yeah. <laughs> Show will be on our way. Yeah. Unless anybody so got something gonna, to do. You guys are going to head back to the... Um... Wherever you saw them last time. Okay. And this is purely for scouting. And I like the... But in advance, we'll be stealthing. Alright. Just in case. Mega stealth. It's time to still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You guys only rolled a seven collectively. 
So they have more D20s than this. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh. okay. You guys feel stealthy as fuck. Oh, oh yeah. Stealthy as fuck. Even the T-Posers. <laughs> um... Yeah, so you guys proceed back into the woods. And after about an hour of traveling, you make it back to the point where that the ruins were. Um, you can see that things have been picked over since you last saw them. There's definitely big giant footprints. And, um... Gail, how about roll me a uh, perception check, if you would. Seppi check here. Everyone or I guess everyone could. Gail, yeah, you can roll with advantage. Okay. Oh, I was just Gail, I was curious. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'll take that natural dice. Uh you notice right away. Uh you see signs in the trees, first of all, that um, seem to be like signs of rage. Big, hmm. like denting looking uh <clears throat> someone like bash their fist someone really big bash their fist into the tree um you see tiny craters in the ground with knuckle imprints uh but most importantly, was named kyle <laughs> you see um in the snow a very similar type of circle that you saw yesterday that looked like um, a portal circle. I'm gonna look at Kronos and I'm be like, I think Craig came through here. <laughs> <laughs> um, now these footprints, Stents. This 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 is gonna be a very specific question. Um, I'm assuming frost giants have like roughly like similar feet to people, like shape wise. Obviously they're bigger, yeah. but like. Now, do these look like they're moving in or out of that location? Like, do they look like, like they're the moving circle? To, like, like towards the circle or away or both? So, they look like they're moving towards the circle. Um, but where the circle is, it's kind of like... It looks like the snow almost rippled. Like, there was like a wave, if that makes sense. Uh, extending, like, outwards. Now, like there's no footprints in the circle. Is this the same spot that I saw yesterday, the other day? No, the other spot was further away than this. Okay. Um, how far away was the other location? Um, if I'm researching me correctly, I think it was about like three miles. Oh, damn. I was gonna, I was gonna say, if, if, I thought it was maybe like a few hundred feet apart. Mm. Uh, I was gonna say we, we could like camp at least locations but if they're that far apart it may be a bit risky to split the party like that no it's cool we uh could leave the t-posers in one spot and then the rest of us go to the other one <laughs> distraction <laughs> exactly alternatively um one of our best bets may be actually to see if nibbles can fly up high and maybe scout out multiple locations at once i don't know how far nibbles can see um, hey, Nibbles, how far can you see? Because, like, maybe we could stay at this location uh, and Nibbles could go check the rest of the other locations because that way, if, like... I feel like just due to the fact of how big and ominous Hill Gi or Frost Giants are, they'll be pretty easy to spot if all of a sudden one decides to open a portal. Yep. That's probably the best bet we got. Nibbles. After you. Nibbles. So this location, I'm assuming we don't want to camp out like right next to it, but maybe some some ways back stents. Okay. In the cover of the woods. <clears throat> so Nibbles, you're gonna go investigate the other. Okay. Uh, Nibbles, how about give me a perception? It was has advantage on those, right? Yep. Doesn't matter when he rolls both ones. Oh, okay, anyway. 
So as you're flying towards the other uh, circle that you guys, where you guys first saw the frost giants, um, you're noticing that like between the trees, where the forest is less dense, snow has now covered areas of where footprints once were, uh, as it was blizzarding just hours ago. Um, but you eventually make it to where you think the spot is, and you still do see like half a circle. The other has been covered by fresh snow. And how long did you guys want to wait here? What time is it? That's probably around at this point noon. Hmm. I mean, I assume we probably be camping this place out for a little while. Yeah. At the very least. Well, we know this is what, 2 or 3 uh, p.m. is when the last people came out. Alrighty. Is there anything you guys want to do while you wait? If not, I'm just going to fast forward time. Uh, let me think. I'm just be on alert for some big giants. Yeah, I guess I'd just be, be like on the lookout. If I can, I, if I can, I'd like to use one of the nearby snowdrifts and use my cloak to kind of just hide in there. Sure, you do so. I'm gonna climb a like... tree. Sure. Um, yeah, you. Do I so. wish there was an old paladin pal of mine that could build me a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> and if he was there, he would do so. Um, Ophelia sees Gale do what he does with his cloak and she's able to speak with while keeping the worm in her mouth she says, <laughs> oh I have a cloak that does that too but that's exactly is... how I picture Ophelia sounds in game <laughs> she continues to depose nevertheless uh, not hiding <laughs> hey Oog push her away <laughs> I just imagine Oog just like fucking like extend his arm and like stiff arms are like 50 yards out <laughs> it's an inside uh, linebacker and I'm a running back <laughs> <laughs> oh. I suppose I'm in the oven real quick I'll be back I need like 30 seconds hey, bro. Nibbles, you see nothing aside from um, like the regular forest life, squirrels, snow hares, some deer. The hours pass. Uh, two comes by and goes, three comes by and goes. It is now 4 p.m. and the light is beginning to dim even further. Um. I almost called you Clyde. What's Luke, up? Uh, how about roll me an insight? Insight? What am I insighting? Yeah. Or history, then insight. Nice negative one, buddy. Oh, yeah. The insight also has a negative one. <laughs> So the only thing that you recall um, was yesterday when the giants appeared. Uh, they said something about searching for Shardlin. Oh yes. Maybe there's no more Shardlin left for them to find. Yeah, well, so I'm going to say that within this couple hours you're able to find some wild game that you're able to kill and enjoy for yourself. I won't make you make checks as you're not pressed for time. Doggo. Yeah, does anyone want to do anything else? 
Nils is dead. Everyone's dead. New campaign. I'm assuming. Everyone's dead. Death by frost giants. No. <laughs> Darn, man, shit sucks. It's now 4 p.m. Reroll characters. <laughs> and the oog, and oog do a couple rolls, but no frost giants have appeared. Hmm. Gail, you've already used that weird uh, magic detection portal thing, right? I can use it pretty frequently, but it's one of those things where it's just kind of like an instantaneous thing, but I can try it again. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll, I'll use it stents. It's, 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 it's like a once per short rest. Uh, you use it, and you detect no portals. Hmm. F. I'm gonna try... the most cliche trick in the book I'm gonna reach in my ready. backpack I'm gonna pull out one piece of shardlin that I have on my person and just throw it out in the middle of the clearing <laughs> just so stupid I'm imagining like a, like a, a miniature portal is gonna open up and a hand's just gonna grab it and grab disappear it. <laughs> as it's in the air like it might what happen no <laughs> oh man <laughs> it skips across the ground and you watch it for a few seconds nothing happens I'll leave it there. <laughs> There's something odd, Vorin, about the Shardlin, like when you tossed it. Like you at this point you think you have like a good grasp and you kinda know what it is. But at the same time, it's almost like it's as you were tossing it, it, it was like reaching for you, like hands were coming out of the Shardlin and trying to grab a hold of you. Almost tell you not to throw me. Just casually. Yeah. And even staring at it out in the snow, it still seems very alluring. It seems like you almost really want to pick it up. Can I resist the urge? <laughs> yeah. The urge isn't uh, that strong, and you kind of have like mind over matter. You know what this is and what things are using it for, so. I like to imagine they have that constipated look Frodo has on his face when he's like looking at the ring. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> and then a uh, small imp comes out from behind the trees and picks it up and gives my precious. <laughs> I launch an arrow at the imp's throat. <laughs> he has neither a bow, bow nor an arrow, but he launches an arrow nonetheless. <laughs> um, so yeah, what do you guys want to do? Well, do you guys want to just wait a few hours longer if nothing shows up just continue on our way to sunblight mm. <clears throat> might as well yeah yeah i'd say that's fair i'd really rather not fuck with these guys i'll pull out another piece of the shit. sooner we get out of here the better i feel uh personally well i guess we will do just that then All right, so you guys are going to stick out a few more hours? Yeah, and nothing happens when right I head out. Another few hours passes and nothing happens. It is now nine o'clock. Maybe Ooh, they okay. finally got all the shardlin they needed for the dragon and we're like, fuck it. Maybe. Who knows? Either way, we should... Let's leave the area and then set up camp for the night. I definitely don't want to set the camp here, just in case. You head back out of the forest? Yeah, guess, fine as well. Yeah. And then maybe get a set up camp and then continue on our way to Sunblight. You right. do so. Well, I guess there's two things we helped out with earlier today. It's really about all we're going to do. So. <laughs> yeah, we tried. That's all that matters. 
It's the thought that counts. Yeah, hopefully old Henry just passes the tale of Adol and Iyer's mind courageous deed. <laughs> <laughs> if no one wants to do anything else, you take your rest. Hell yeah. And um, I will need another round of D8s. That's uh, this is some rolls. Yep. Or fuck. Okay, I'm going to need. Yeah, oh, my brain must be tired. Um. What's the plan for tomorrow, guys? Get up that early over to Sunblight. Are you just gonna set on out to Sunblight? Yeah. Unless anyone has anything to do. Yeah. I guess that's it. Tricar, I thought you were talking about Labor Day plans, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, uh, yo, what are you gonna do, Brock? Nothing, man. We're getting shut down again, probably because of the COVID cases. That's it's fun. dude. You're it's not, literally you're like, not gonna, six like barbecue ago or anything. Again. It's like six months ago all over again. We'll see. Can't we'll see. Probably <laughs> not. I, I, I don't know. Cries in Texan. I don't know where you can fix your But literally up here now, if you don't have your, you basically get to carry your your like vaccination COVID like shot thing on you at all times. There's like a special card you have for it. And if you go to do anything, like go to a restaurant or go to a movie theater, you have to provide proof that you've been vaccinated. No, they don't give a shit where I'm at. Down it's here, too. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's like... It starts this thing was almost, was almost beat, and then everyone just, for some reason, got scared of vaccines, for some reason. Because, you know, they, they cause autism and all these normal things it's random proven, shit. By, proven by science, clearly. First day of school is Wednesday at my job. And, uh... Yeah, no one's gotten my... No, yeah, my university classes start on Wednesday as well, and what they're doing is they're doing it so it's like, you basically have to say you're vaccinated or not, um, and then like there's like a form, and if you're not vaccinated, you have to like do a weekly check to see if you if you have COVID or anything. Jesus, that's funny actually. That's uh, funny. we're we're vibing over here, you know. We're just leading the country in children deaths due to COVID. All good. <laughs> Yeah. But children that's don't get up. COVID. What are you talking about? Yeah, children they're are immune safe. To it. it only affects the nah, old people. Well, people, <laughs> listen, people are going to be stupid. People are going to die. And eventually, I don't know. We're all fucked. Are we done? Um, so, you're going to be waking up first, Foreign. Uh, were you just going to set out okay. first thing? This is important. Um, How to make this skinnier. Does this look... Like a dick to you guys, but like, <laughs> curved. What are you talking about? Where are you at, dude? Look yeah, at the blue line I'm drawing. Yeah, you see how like it's curved? It's like a blue dick. Yeah. That's not curved, bro. That's broke. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's like a baby's arm you? holding an apple, dude. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> no. Uh, hello. This. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh. that snapped an app. That's not curved, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's like. Your chick try to fucking jump on top of you from like the ceiling and miss. Oh, let me let me like move the drawing. Dude, Can you see don't it even now? say shit like that. I get I'm just that fucking. Why was that, 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 was that, there's, a, there's a point. No, no, no. Look, 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 look. It's easy. Yeah, dude. Look, cause here's the ball sack right here. <laughs> and then here's the dick. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm done. Oh, I just, yeah, this, this derailed oh, some yeah. so fucking quickly, bro. Yeah. Just spend the next 30 minutes seeing how many penises we can find. <laughs> There's a lot, man. <laughs> they, they, they had him done it on purpose. Yeah. 
<laughs> Somebody probably just drew a bunch of dicks and they're like, you know what, let's turn this into a map and they just do crap around them. Um, so yeah, it's probably gonna take about two days to get to Sunblight from here. Look. Uh, are you just gonna head out first thing? Uh, well, I'm not gonna head out first thing. Everyone else is still asleep, unless they're just gonna sleep in the car. I hate you, Anala. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, with a passion. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I reckon uh, if I'm just going to drive it, like, and everyone is going to sleep, then sure. I mean, (laughs) you dream about the soothsayer. Oh, no. She's naked. No. Oh, no. (laughs) My dick ascends. Peg on or peg off? (laughs) Peg on or peg off? (laughs) Peg in. <laughs> She's just rocking back on her chair. She, she like falls out of the chair. And there's something stuck to the seat. It's like when there's like dildos, you suction cup on this shit. God, it's double purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, fuck it. I'm so tired. <laughs> Stuff a flashlight down in the peg leg. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, are, are we? So we're out of town, right? Or are we yeah, still you're in on town? like this. Outside. Okay. Yeah. Well, if I'm the first one that wakes up, I'll just start driving. I guess everyone else can right. see. <laughs> Are you guys going to stop at Good Mead? Or I'm sorry. Dugan's hole. Dugan's hole. Nani? We just did a, we, <laughs> we've been we've been teleported back uh, a few hundred miles. Uh I don't think so. I mean unless we want to. I think stopping in towns has been our downfall. Yeah. So you're gonna press on through till uh, Yeah, I think I think we should. Some point. They look extra pissed as you guys pass on through. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you look like piss. <laughs> oh my god. We can feel the glares. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is there anything you guys want to talk about <laughs> on your way to uh to Sunplate? Mm, no. I like to imagine we just wasted all that time looking at a map, saying, how many dicks can you guys see on this map? <laughs> Ophelia's keep posing before the map as everyone just kind of draws in dicks. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, around afternoon, it begins to snow again. God damn it. it. Gets that same type of cold that you guys are used to when it blizzards. That biting chill. Oh, yeah. you, you should do the thing that you have enough for your back. What do you guys want to do? Uh, uh, well, uh, well, driving in blizzards is, it has not turned out very well for us in the past. So I'll just pull it to the stop. Ready. I'm not going to pull it to the stop. I'll just tell the show guard to stop. What am I driving for anymore? Nice and warm in the cart. It's fucking this. Hey, would would this would the shield guard get like lost or would it get disoriented like in the blizzard? Couldn't it just keep going? I don't know. You guys can try if you want. If I just told it to go straight. But if I, I like I, I have to have a general bearing of where I'm going anyway to tell it to go that way. Oh, okay, never mind then. Is that sense you know for me to be like, hey, go this way? Or like go to this town and then it'll take a, the optimal path, like we'd have stuff to guide it. Yeah, okay. No, never mind. Just curious. No, I... You know, we wake up and we're falling out the back of the car as we're going up a mountain cliff side. Just, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, that's just going to pull off to the side, trying to wait the blizzard out, I guess. 
Alrighty. Hop back in the cart with the boys. Um. Oh God, are you watching porn by yourself? No, I'm with. No, boys. I'm with my boys. <laughs> I love that video. <laughs> Our turn. Welcome back. Welcome back. Got some more jobs for you. We're chilling in the blizzard again. God darn it. That's who we are. Blizzard is code name for. Her. Yes. Just put on my funny thumbs. devils from your dreams. <laughs> In the distance. Uh, you know what? Roll perception, guys. <laughs> There's fucking one of those goddamn roars that we heard before, I swear to god. Oh, whoopsie, I rolled. Oops. Uh. Take a. That would be fucking. Not 24, that would be. 21. It would be a 21, because it used the fucking bonus for my. I rolled survival instead of perception. Already. <sighs> uh, Vorin, yeah. Gale, Brennus. In the distance, you guys hear the, an unmistakable cackling. Which direction? Seems to be coming from the east. Renanala, that's a stretch. That's a stretch. <laughs> like, yeah. like over, like over, over here. You said it's all right. So you said it's an uh, unmistakable cackling. Like, uh, like yeah. so. Obviously, I know what this is. Uh, yeah. So, uh... or is it unmistakable in that it is a cackle and not like a a chortle or a guffaw? Well, you just, <laughs> I thought you guys roll me survivals, and it's, it'll be easy. Everybody or just them? Just those three. It's definitely Knowles. Oh my god. That's yeah, what I thought. Ugh. I they seem to be coming from... <laughs> they seem to be coming from the Redwaters. Which I didn't... At one point, uh, that was probably highlighted for you guys. Oh, it's that time of month? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, you couldn't well, tell by uh, the... That's, that's why it looked like that. <laughs> Someone at Wizards is a sneaky bastard. Not Wizards. What's the yeah, fucking uh, Is it Sword Sword Coast? Whatever the fuck is whatever. Wizards Coast, no? Wizards, Wizards of the Coast. Of the coast. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's it. Man, that thing. Red waters. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you guys want to do? It seems to be a gang of cackling cacklers. We're a gaggle of Is the blizzard over? Blizzard's still going. <laughs> god. Uh, yeah, I guess we wait. Oh my god. I guess we wait. <laughs> it smells like shit around here. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to just go clear them out real quick. <sighs> yeah. In the middle of a blizzard. But I was gonna say we shouldn't, we shouldn't really risk going over there in the middle of the blizzard. Gonna move. They'll probably come to us and then we'll just murder them. Yep. All right, boys, take up defensive positions. I was gonna say just get ready. Yeah, I'll pull the bow out and I'll just go ahead and fire an arrow at them. Yeah, yeah, just shoot at something random in the distance again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About an hour passes and the cackling stops. Okay. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I yell up. <laughs> Your voice is lost to the wind. Yeah. Is there anything you guys want to do uh, while you wait out the rest of the blizzard, or...? Don't think so. Nah. No, I'm good. Alrighty. At the end of the blizzard, it's it dies down around 9 p.m. Uh, do you want to press on, or stop and rest, or...? What do you guys want to do? Press on. Say <laughs> we press on. Yeah. All right. All right. Press on to about here. 
And then I'm going to have to get you guys to roll me another round of D8s. All right. <clears throat> oh my god, it's a date. Right. Everyone's favorites. Oh my god, we're going the long way. <laughs> Here, pack one more time. I have to just do the same damage again. continue uh at this point it's about noon time continue you guys want to do anything or continue mm. pressing onwards i'm all about pressing on pressing on get me to the plot already i figured that was the choice you guys would make before you is the side of a very steep mountain. Um, you might be able to maneuver your wagon up this, but it also looks precarious. And uh, how about you guys, if you want to roll me a survival, Gail, you live in Icewind Dale, I'll give you advantage. Did he go AFK again? I don't know. He did. I, 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 I went, no, like I said, I leave ahead to go check on it. So, like, I'm oh. back. There oh, have wait. been, like, a couple times where I've debated if it's even worth me saying I'll be right back because it's usually like I have to just stand up and do something. Real quick, no worries. But... Hey, what were we rolling? I'm sorry. Oh. Survival. Survival. Oh, my tribe. Ash Plus. You know, the beginning of this campaign, back in my mind, I was debating. I was like, you know, and neither of my any other campaigns have ever had to really use survival that much. It's probably not a very useful skill, but you know what? I'll use it this time just in case, and I'm really glad I invested in it. <laughs> <laughs> this is, they made a, uh, a wilderness survival DM screen. And I think really? it's geared towards, yeah, I have it. I don't use it, but I did purchase it. I think it's geared towards or was made for, like, this campaign. Um, so, um, yeah, Gil, you definitely would know about this. Same with you, Adol. Um, and you know what? Same with you, Cronus. Uh, um, <laughs> this is something that I've been waiting to do since I read about the campaign at, uh, like almost a year ago. Oh boy. Uh, you guys He's flipping noticed... to the second page, guys. <laughs> you guys noticed that uh, this mountainside is ripe for av avalanches. Oh my oh, no. god. Uh oh. Gail, so... you know a thing or two about avalanches. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even I just realized I'm sorry. I'm surprised you remembered Stats. <laughs> that was over a year ago. That, that was so that was coincidence. I just remembered immediately after it left my mouth, I remembered. Um Okay. But yeah, um I mean you may or may not in, encounter an avalanche. Uh but that's it's just something to consider if you guys are looking to cart this entire wagon up the side of the mountain. I'm, I'm picturing Stents with his hand and his, his pinky towards his face right now. You may or may not encounter an avalanche. <laughs> so fucking laugh, bro. Alright, someone needs to take that horn away from Ophelia right now. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. She's been raring to blow that thing since she got it. <laughs> Take it away. It'll Ophelia probably... puts the horn to her mouth. Avalanche! 
Wait, can we actually just like slide a hand that shit off of her? Like somebody without telling her? It it'll probably be a good idea if we leave the um if we want to the tea holding there, yeah. If, if we can hide the wagon. There's, there's like a clearing or like not clearing but like some trees. Maybe keep the shield guardian here as well, because something tells me taking the shield guardian up here may not be a good idea. Oh yeah, well let's not take it let's not take the shield guardian to the big the big encounter that's been leading up to since we started. I mean No how... for the avalanches, bro. How how easy does it look to? Because we're not getting the cart up here. Um, That's fine. We can leave the cart. Well, so I was gonna say, do we want to just leave the cart unattended? Like, <sighs> then we. I feel like someone's shield guardian. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like we should probably leave the shield guardian just to guard the cart. How about we just skirt the mountain until we find a better spot that's not prime for avalanches? I mean, we don't have in. to go through the part that's like dangerous for avalanches. Is I mean, looking at looking at the map. The Looking at the map right now, I don't think we're gonna have much luck anywhere else besides here. I don't know why you're worried about avalanches, dude. It's just gonna be a black dude with a machine gun for an arm. Some little fucking girl. <laughs> I knew someone was gonna make that joke! I was waiting for it! I was waiting for it! And when the final boss uses Omni Slash and we all die. Um, fine. I'm loath to leave it out here. Well, I mean, you can always but, just kind of get it back to us if we need it, right? Yeah, like, well, we can, yeah well, I can head. We can go past the avalanche zone, right? <laughs> and I can call it. And then if it, it can, I'm pretty sure this thing can just like plant its feet and go through a fucking avalanche. Hopefully. Well, let's, I mean, I'm, the shield guard will be fine. The cart, maybe not. Fuck. Um, okay. We can definitely go ahead first. We can see the type of terrain we're dealing with. And right. then... We can maybe get the shield guardian, because avalanches are not something to mess around with. Everybody has. Does everybody have like? Fuck. I should have bought some bed rolls. We could wrap the shield. We could shit. We could wrap the shield guardian in bed rolls so it doesn't put off much sound when it's walking. You know. Okay. Now you're fine. We we can just leave it here. <laughs> It's like taking a toy away from a child. He's like, I want it. All right, so let's see something real quick. Not Tesla. Stens just saw the word avalanche. He like opened the book, saw the word avalanche, and he's like, we're running this campaign. <laughs> so I'm gonna say there's a good three miles of avalanche territory that you guys are going uh. to walk. Is about six hours of walking. Right Probably now, it's slower if we want to walk slow enough to avoid it. It's just about um, afternoon ish, almost afternoon. So, do we want to do we want to wait till there's light and then head out and just camp here for the camp here for the night, or do we want to head out right now? I guess whatever's the safest thing. <laughs> Really, Probably you know, not to here. compound dangers on top of each other, you know. Yeah. Just camp here. So camp here? Yeah. Yeah. This is good daylight. How long would it take us? We, we will end up in darkness at some point going up this mountain anyway, because if it's three miles, that'll take us, what, six hours is what you said? Ish? Yeah. So we'll end up, if there's only like two hours of good light a day anyway, man, like, we'll end up in it regardless. But it's better to go ahead and get at least a third of that out of the way with sunlight, so. Sure, let's just camp and go out tomorrow. Some woods nearby, and we can pull up in there for cover. I'll, I'll be right back one last time. God, so important. Do you think you food? <laughs> Why are the balls so small? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so you guys are gonna rest? It's got a growth on it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. In the distance, 
you see um, all of you see the light of the cold light walker. Wait, I just said what? I just sat down. What the fuck happened? In the distance. <laughs> a cold light. North, northward. You see He's looking light, at you. The cold light walker scanning the lands. What do you guys want to do? Bud Light Walker. Yeah. Bud Light Walker. I was, I was just going to say, I have to keep going so often because it's like my oven doesn't cook things properly. So I basically have to like set it to the correct temperature and then like judge by looking at what it's cooking if it's cooked or not. It's just like the heat doesn't work. So I have to, I have to keep leaving constantly to check it and make sure. Is it done? Is it burnt? I don't know. I have to check every five minutes. Well, I guess just let it pass. Or try oh. or just, like stop. As long as it's not the, 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 the minimal amount of conflict we run across, the better. <clears throat> do you guys do anything? Or do you just keep quiet? Or I'm keeping my ass quiet. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be stealthy as fuck. Okay. God. So put the dice rolls. Wait about an hour, and then Cold Light Walker passes by. So you guys are gonna rest. Yep. Um, who's gonna keep watch? Or is anyone gonna keep watch? Can the shield guardian do, or should? How's that work? Do the shield guard in the first four, and I'll do the last four. I'll do the first Great. four, Sugar, and do the last four. Yeah. Can I once more get the eights? Uh, nothing disturbs you during the night. Or any like during the first. night. Yeah. Um, you guys all have that dream again. But, uh, yeah. Warren, you wake up first. What would you like to do? Spend what little time I have left with my shield guardian friend. <laughs> You guys have like a heart to heart. Yeah. Hold you in his arms as you kind of like cradles you as you rest your head on his Same. chest. So I stroke his cogs. Yeah. <laughs> Sus. <laughs> That's I'm not I'm not gonna do anything. Alrighty. You guys all wake up. It's about six a.m. Do you begin your descent up the mountain? Or ascent, I guess, I should say. <laughs> Spire of Netheril. This is where we're back at. <laughs> I'm probably way up is down. Uh. <laughs> uh, I'd imagine try and find the best place you possibly could to like hide the wagon for now. Okay. Um, There's some uh, some shrubs nearby, some trees. Yeah, if we can, if we can hide it there, that would be pretty good. Already. Talking about just throw a bunch of snow around it, dude. Good. Exactly. I think we're good to go. Stents is like finally after an entire year the main plot. Actually. <laughs> you guys remember that one? no. Uh yeah, I don't fuck. know, Carrot and Evil's looking real good right now. Alrighty. Um, 
I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have. Qu uh, uh, I hear it in your voice. Yeah, you hear the laugh. I hear it. <laughs> He's <laughs> trying to hold it back. <laughs> First, I need to know everyone's marching orders. Use marching What's orders. uh? What would be the safest spot? <laughs> That's where I stand. My, much to my displeasure, I'd probably be in the front. I'll okay. be in the back. Okay. I'd be near the front. Um, who's here? I'd probably be like mid-ish. I'm gonna make assume... a new group in Sleepy Time Junction. I'd assume Oog would be in the front, or second at least. I can be in the front, but I'm gonna be on my mount so I can just run out of an elephant. <laughs> Wait, is, is, this, is this such a common thing that has to be done here since? That it's like, we've just somehow managed to avoid it for the last year? Uh, you take, you, you take medical... it's like mountain region stuff. Oh, that happened during mountain region. I mean, there were points where you guys could have encountered something like this, but it didn't happen. But I, I just want to <sighs> get ready. <laughs> okay, Nibbles is going to fly out of avalanche range. Fuck off, nipples. <laughs> so, I have Gail and Oog up front, born in the back. Uh, Adel, I'll be you right be... behind Gail and Oog. Okay. And then, Adel, do you want to be behind Kronos? Yeah. And then I guess Ophelia and Kieran are going to be in the middle. I'm going to be on my mount so I can just... Peace! Okay. So that's the marching order I have, unless you guys want to alter it. Um, you guys want to do anything else in preparation, or are you guys just going to go for it? Yellow. Yeah, Would I know uh, what's the best way to avoid an avalanche here, Stents? <laughs> go the other way. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> How about give me another survival? She spoke and no survival. Uh, 18. You know, by keeping quiet, keeping steady, and no super sudden movements, that you might just be able to uh, traverse this mountain without um, interrupting the snow at the top of the peaks. I will relay that information to the party. If only we had another bag of holding. I flash a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. As to not disturb the snow at the top of the peaks. If an avalanche was coming, we would just put I two just, bag of holdings together. Right? I just, on. Yeah. <laughs> just hold so, the bag of holding above your head and it'll suck up all the snow before it hits you. <laughs> <laughs> About 400 pounds of water. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have six rounds of climbing this mountain. Oh shit. I've never seen you. And at the beginning of each round, I'm gonna need everyone to roll me stealth. Fuck. Chat. Stealth? Are you, are you gonna roll it or yeah. are we gonna no. roll the, uh, roll we, I mean, we, I mean, I know a good chunk of our party is pretty stealthy, so. At this point, you guys are gonna roll it. Okay. God damn, I have stealth at disadvantage. <laughs> Yep, that's armor. Also, when you say we're climbing the mountain, I'm thinking of the Mario Party game where you're like tied to your buddy. Yeah. You know, that's not a bad idea. We have rope. We could tie our buddy uh, together so we don't get lost. Are you going to do that? Uh, that would be disadvantages if we do trigger an avalanche, though. Would it? We have yeah, a better chance of getting caught. out ourselves. Yeah, well, if someone, someone gets, gets caught, caught it's an down avalanche. Down we're all gonna yeah, go they're if it dead, gets... and then we're all dead because we all get dragged down with the rope. And Prophet was right there next in my hand. I think the hardest part about avalanches is finding the people that are buried under it. I think this makes it easier. Being roped together, we're all dead. I'm gonna not rope myself. Yeah, fine, whatever. Bye, bye, bye. 
We won't do I it. I feel like ro roping yourself together is only really useful if you're gonna if you're someone slips or falls. Yeah, it's for climbing, but when you have to worry about avalanches, it's not the best. Yeah, but if we're trapped under an avalanche and we're all together, it'll make it so much easier getting out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like if we end up you're being buried under an avalanche. If you're buried in an avalanche, you're pretty much you're dead. dead. Yeah, there's yeah, nothing yeah. you can do. We're talking about happy y'all can dead. make fire. We don't just melt your way out of the avalanche. I, I feel like you and don't so the like rest of it just really bro. Are. Like, are you like, <laughs> avalanches are what, essentially bro? landslides, bro, but yeah. with snow on top of it. Yeah, yeah we're fucked. It's, it's, like, it's you're not dead. just sliding snow. You're dead. No, you're, dead. You're, you're you're fucked if you're in an avalanche. There's nothing you can do. Look, look yeah. I don't know much about avalanches, right? I spent half my life underground. I don't, you know. I feel like I feel like the last boss when you get fucked by this avalanche, bro. <laughs> it's fine though. Oh, hold up, I got a little stealth. First Nibbles doesn't have to roll. Of course. Um, Bastard. Fucking bitch. <laughs> you know, like, we'll need you to roll stealth if you're here. Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stealth up. These rolls were honestly pretty good. Except, Mine's is that disadvantage, that, by the uh, way. He's, he's rocking that Halo 6. I'm, I'm rocking that 6, yeah. Hopefully the 18, 26, and 22 can compensate for anything that Adel's about to roll. Oh wait, do I actually roll it? He's rolling that yeah, negative yeah, one, yes. bro. Yeah, yeah, we're oh. oh, shit. I'm using my mount dash action to get out of here. Okay. I'm here just fucking deep-throating my nerds rope. <laughs> <laughs> Yank it all out at one go. Yeah. Hey, not bad. Okay. Let's see. Alright, round two. Uh, Every time the music I starts. I want to mention. <laughs> yeah. I want to mention while we're going, um, just like the entire time, I'm going to look for like little caves. Or whatever. Sure. Current. You see some uh, small snow boulders tumbling down the side of the mountain as you head upwards. <coughs> uh, can I get another round of stealths? Uh, pain. Follow low. Man, six rolls at disadvantage. That's get fucked. Oh. Get that fucking that <laughs> one. Get fucked. Get ready. Why are you right, rolling folks. an advantage, Kronos? I have advantage. Fair. <laughs> All the magic items, apparently. Just leaping for death, it's fine. You guys make it through round two? More tumbling snow boulders come sliding down the side of the mountain as you traverse upwards. Can I get another roll for round three? Six rounds of this shit. Bro. Just... What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck <laughs> man? Go back to the car. Go back to the car. You're right. I'm gonna turn around and head back to the car. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I just saw his rolls. Christ. <laughs> Snake eyes. I'm gonna turn my ass around and head back to the car. I feel like that would just trigger the out of it. I'm just like, oh, well, you guys lose. Oh, that's three net ones and uh, four rolls. Cringe. I like how he's like cringe in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're missing something. You guys that roll is pretty cringe. Definitely make it past round three. Nice, nice. Uh, I don't. I'm curious how this works. If we're rolling against an avalanche <laughs> and the avalanche has a stat block or some shit, <clears throat> or if it's just like there's like a threshold we have to clear. Well, guess if no one else roll nat ones with me, and we'll probably be okay. Why would you say that? 
Can I get another round of stealth rolls for Nat? Or, uh, <laughs> for Nat 1? Yeah, I got yeah. you, bro. <laughs> Bro. No! Gale! What are y'all doing? Even with a natural one, I still got an 8. It's okay, oh, that throwing. one isn't auto fail. It's only a tank roll. Uh oh, these ones aren't that great. <laughs> Never mind, Vort's carrying us. We're good. I got y'all. <laughs> I really hope it's got a cumulative thing that gives a value yeah. to clear. Oh my god. <sighs> He's quiet. We're fucked. It's over. You guys make it to round four. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. Wait, wasn't that round four? No, uh, round that... five. I'm sorry. Okay. One, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> All that ones. Yeah. Lots of snowy boulders begin to fall, and you feel the mountain begin to shake. I'm still looking uh, for caves. All right, double nat twenty. Here we go. Bro. Oh, Fred. <laughs> every every single roll, someone hits a one. It's going. I mean, on? these these rolls are still on average pretty good. Yeah, they are. I just find the like frequency of a one uncanny. <laughs> yeah, versus like, where's the nat twenty to offset? You know. I mean, Vorm basically got a nat twenty before he rolled a nineteen. I got a nineteen yeah. as well. Ophelia looks upwards and she goes, "Avalanche!" And oh my god. Snow begins to fall uh, very quickly. All right, here's where and my dash action mount comes in play. I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative. Initiative? <laughs> oh my God. We're All right, this is my nat twenty yeah. initiative right here. Oh, fuck. oh yeah. Right. Up the edge, you guys in? I'll just write it down. <laughs> I don't want to go first. We have to fight an avalanche. <laughs> What's his AC? Who's I think that, I, got an, I got an eight. Who was that? Uh, the Roman emperor was it Caligula that had his soldiers just flogging the ocean? Is this what it's gonna be like? I'm 11. You got an 11. Yeah, I had an 8. 8. I'm supposed to go 5. Don't even our fucking our initiative rules for shit, too. Steep. I believe you're first in the marching order as well. Yes. Um, <laughs> you're able to move before things get dicey. Same with Kronos and Vorin and Oog. Uh, you guys are all able to get out of the way, but Nipples <laughs> and Adol. Um, Nipples is out of range, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Nipples is fine. Adol, you're in the danger zone. Uh -oh. um, I'm gonna need you to make a, uh, <laughs> a strength save as snow begins to fall against you. Oh shit! All right. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm not close enough to give him that bonus to his save, I assume. Uh, how far do you have to be? It's like ten feet. Yeah, no. Uh, no. Okay. Jump in my bag of holding. 
Oh god. Uh, no, that's actually fine. Yeah. I hope. So snow comes and like pelts your stomach. Uh <laughs> but you're able to kinda like keep steady. Um so the snow goes rushing past you, uh further down the mountain. And you're going to be taking uh two bludgeoning damage. Ugh. Um And then, uh, yeah, you guys are good after that. Oh, cool. Uh, Kronos, you notice as the snow continues to move, uh, a cave does open up along okay. the side of the mountain. How far away is it? Hmm. It's about... ...90 feet away. Downwards. Downwards. I'm gonna yell uh, to the party. There is a cave uh, below us. Make way. I Batman grappling hook into the cave. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a grappling hook? I believe I do. Actually, if you, if you wanna, if you wanna do that, you can. No, it's okay. I'll just walk it. <laughs> Start heading to the cave. I'll hop on my ass and slide down to it. <laughs> okay. Same. I think. Uh, you guys make it to the cave, and you notice it inside. There's a uh, a skeleton wearing cold weather gear. Oh. Have a oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> More snow comes tumbling past as you get inside the cave. Oh, okay. Is there anything you guys want to do? How much snow is coming down? Like, is it a big avalanche? Yeah, it's like a river of snow up out there. But it comes in, like, waves. Count my blessings that three nat one stealth rolls is... After a few <laughs> minutes, the snow settles, and it looks like you might have to, like, dig out a little bit to get back outside. Uh, but what do you guys want to do? I guess... Uh, I'll just plop digging. on the ground and be like, Whoo! Close one, fellas. <sighs> yes, You're pretty close dig to the summit. Alright, so you you guys can dig out. Fairly yeah, what is one? Um... But yeah. Can I get another round of stealths? Yeah. Thought I was done with this shit. But <laughs> afraid you're one fucking god. <laughs> They're black crossing out, Chronos. Yeah. Oh, thank god. My first bro. above ten rule. <laughs> oh, that was survival. My bad, bro. That's a. You want me to reroll? Uh, just use your modifier. Plus five. Just still plus five. Okay. Twenty-three. Fred, get fucked. <laughs> Dude, it might be. <laughs> I don't think these were good rolls. Okay, never mind. What'd you say? Nothing. <clears throat> well, that was easy. Uh, yeah. <sighs> and nothing of value was lost. Except two. It's a really good thing we didn't have the, We didn't have a. Hey, card. do we? Do we see Aphelia? No. All right, we're good. Let's go. All right. So oh, there's fucking Polar Express. You guys make it to the top. Uh, nibbles to make your descent. Fuck yeah. That's funny. Right. Called, dude. I want to say I'm surprised, dude. 
You guys are pretty high up in the mountains at this point. How's the, uh, how thin is the air? It's pretty thin. Um... You behold a sheer mountain wall rising more than a hundred feet before you. Oh, and you yeah, see yeah. that carved into the wall, high up, are slots that you can only presume are arrow slits. God damn it. Looks like we made it, boys. <laughs> Looks like we climbed the wrong side. Kill. <laughs> you can hear Very right beyond, side. You can hear behind beyond this wall clanking sounds. And you can see that a narrow staircase leads up into this structure. Oh, okay. But from high above comes a loud grinding noise. And large sheets of ice begin to break and fall. And suddenly you see great doors open in the structure. And not one, but two Shardolin dragons come flying no. out. And an earth-shattering roar echoes across the land. You can see their eyes glow golden. And they fly towards ten towns. Fuck. And that is where we're going to end oh. the session for the day. We're uh -oh. too late! We're, <laughs> we're too yeah, late! Yeah, we're fucked. Bro. <laughs> two dragons. Do you think there was only supposed to be one and two dragons is sent this way to say you fucked around so long that you can make two? <laughs> you get inside and there's a third one without wings. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. I can mass produce these now. Fuck. No, old Henry. Uh, <laughs> Rick. Maybe. Maybe. Ricardo! <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Ronaldo. Want, yeah, we'll see. Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! How big are they? Uh, they're pretty Full large. Full size? Okay. They're dragon sized. Ah, yeah, yeah. Has anyone thought about how we're gonna fight these things that are made out of rock? You know, throw rocks at them. <laughs> the rocks. Wait, out of curiosity, did they did they see us, Stents? The dragon. He said um, they were flying off towards Ten Towns. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Did I miss we're kind of like that? we're kind of like close, stuck to the side of the wall. I think, like the mountain. Yeah, you're right in front of this structure. So, what do you guys think you'll be doing next time? <sighs> Maybe, hopefully, they're, like, controlled by something, and we can just kind of, like, nip that in the bud. Well, like, what are our, op our options? I don't think we can make it, I mean... I yeah, we weren't we're given any options. Like, if they are flying off to Ten Towns, it's not like we can go back. I mean, an avalanche just came down on us. Well, I mean, I don't think we're, we're going to be able to catch them either way. Well, what's going to happen is Freya's going to have to keep rolling on his chaos table until he gets flying again, obviously. And then he's going to have to, like, chase <laughs> him down. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like an ace combat scenario where he's just flying around taking dragons out. That's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, that was a super fun session. Yeah. Henry is Chad. New mechanics. <laughs> How about it. Oh yeah. Welcome to chapter three. Nice. Oh my god, we suck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Level up, please. <laughs> no. You're one step closer. What? You've Death gone. You've gone, you, you've gone from like a hundred thousand XP to ninety-nine thousand XP. Speaking of leveling up, how close are you guys to? Uh... What the fuck's beating Eden? I forgot the name. Eden's Promise. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Weren't you guys like intermediate? What, like I think we've seen it. We've seen it. Yeah. I think we're still up. ironing out basic relativity. I, I mean, that is the hardest. That, that is the hardest one. So we don't have that ironed out 100 percent yet. 
Dude, so many of the fights this expansion were front loaded. Like almost every single fight, like like Shiva, like Eden, like all those fights are so front loaded in difficulty. Yeah. I think that's good though, because isn't it at the end? Um it's like if it's it would suck that you have to keep progging until like the last minute of a fight to like do a mechanic that you're unsure yeah. of. Yep, that that is the worst. Oh, what what did you need, Thala?